Good afternoon, slash evening, slash morning, slash uh, whatever. Everybody, welcome back for more of The Price of Perfection with me, your host, Argon Matrix. Officially on my, uh, I guess this would be my 13th year of YouTubing. My 12-year uh, anniversary was yesterday. I wasn't streaming and I didn't do anything special, but it, it did happen and I was aware of it, so woohoo. Um, we're going to lucky year number 13. I don't know if 13 is historically a lucky number. <laughs> I think it's like the exact opposite. But we'll uh, not keep that in mind as we continue to... As we continue this very RNG-heavy challenge. Z made it to 100k? I saw that. I saw that, Oceana. Unsurpassable Z has made it to 100,000 subscribers. Big, big congratulations to him. He deserves every one of them and more. I, can, I wish him nothing but the best. What's your opinion on beets? I like pickled beets, but I've... I've I don't know if I've ever had non-pickled beets, to be honest with you. A little bit strange. You were, tw you were two when I started? When I started YouTubing? Oh my gosh. I feel so old. Alright. Um... Before we get into the actual stream here, the actual challenge, as always, we do have a little bit of fan art. Um, let me pop on over there and show you. This one comes from Cut Video on on well, they shared it on the Discord, but that's their name on YouTube, and it's beautiful. It's a it's it's like Chloe as like a cleric or like a healer of some kind, and I love everything about it. She's got her trusty copper axe as like her to like channel her magic healing spells. As you do, the Copper Axe of Wellness. It's so good. I love this little art style. It's just like the D&D &D nerd in me loves it and the Stardew nerd. It's just, it's it's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> and it fits Chloe to a T, I think. I think she would be a, a healer class if this were some kind of RPG. I mean, I guess Stardew is technically an RPG, but not in the traditional sense, I suppose. Thank you again to Cut Video for that. And our second piece of fan art, second and last one, another one from Malhair the Rabbit, a stream regular. I think I even saw you in chat earlier here. Little happy Krobus. Happy, lovely Krobus. That's what we're working towards. This, this, this boy right here, this lovely little shadow brute, this is our, this is goals. Hashtag goals. Relationship goals. That's where we're going, at least far, as far as like friendship goals. We, we know there's only one room in our heart for, uh, for one romantic interest, and Krobus, we love you, but Haley, uh, MVP, or H Haley BAE, I guess, is that what the kids say? Bay. I digress. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the fan art either way. If you have any fan art you'd like to share with me yourself, exclamation point Discord in the chat, you can join the Discord there and share it in the fan art channel. Let me know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited. And uh, you can also share it with me on Twitter at Argon Matrix. DM it to me there. Whatever works for you. I digress. Let's go ahead and hop on over. Let me get my things going. Yes, exclamation point commands if you have if you want any uh, fun or useful commands. Number of garbages searched 720. Still no cactus fruit. I did actually add a command. Um, I was talking about this with my mods in my Discord. I added a command, let me actually do things while I'm talking about this so we're not just wasting time here. It's a command for mods only, so no one in chat will be able to use it. But it lets them uh, update the cactus fruit count in real time. So basically anytime I do a, a full day of garbage hunting, either the mods or myself can type it in chat and we can, uh, and that'll update the cactus fruit message as we go. So it's not quite automatic, unfortunately, but it is sort of the best I can do for right now. So hopefully that will uh, help things out. It'll help us keep track here and let us know when that time finally does come that we are uh, that we get our cactus fruit, our sacred cactus fruit. We will know the exact number that we get it on, in theory. But I digress. Let me go ahead and bring you into Stardew today. Ah, uh, total spent 111, 280. 
That is accurate. That is on point. Exclamation point fan art. <laughs> that would be that would be a good one, honestly. How am I doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well, Sophia. Uh, this is the first day of my two weeks off from my like actual job, my full time job, at uh, at the liquor store. And I'm very very happy to to have this time off. Let me tell you, it's been a long time coming. All right, what are our goals? We still need to get level ten mining and foraging. Um, we're working slowly but surely towards both of them. I feel like we're going to hit mining before we hit foraging. Foraging seems like definitely the hardest one. But let's go ahead and get on with it. This looks like it's already watered, so I think we're good to go. I think that's just the poppy, right? We, we did get our poppy seeds, which is good. The seed maker uh, finally gave way and gave us an extra poppy seed to work with. A pittance of poppy seeds, as it were. Tuppence a, a poppy seed. And what else do we have going on here? We have more amaranth growing. I don't think the amaranth uh, was kind to us, like the as far as the seed maker goes. We only got the one seed from that, right? If I remember right. Yeah, there's our poppy seed. Summer spangle. Yeah, we don't have any ex extra amaranth seeds, so we'll have to try that one one more time. That's neither here nor there right now. Tim Beeb, how are you doing, buddy? A little quality stone from George. Don't mind if I do. Uh, another thing that's on my mind for this stream is that the Stardew Valley Fair comes up fair, fairly shortly. And uh, I wanted to test this uh, 9 Iridium quality chub theory that is that was from someone's video. I don't remember who's still. I, I still didn't go and look that up. But uh, I did watch a video from one of the Stardew tubers that says 9 Iridium quality chub in the fair display, in your range display at the fair, will let you win. And I'm really curious to see if that actually works, so we're going to test it out. It might be like an Omega Troll, but I don't think it was. I think it was a pretty reputable source. We'll see how it goes. I get scared easily? Oh, Haley. That's a, that's a cute little quote. I think that's, I think that's probably from her... Uh, from the Spirits Eve Festival, if I had to guess. Ooh, Blackberry Season. Probably not super important for us to focus that down, but it is uh, noteworthy for sure. Five hours and ten minutes until three days worth of the price of perfection? Oh my gosh. Don't even... Don't remind me. It's scary how... That, 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 that's how long. Like, if I've been playing for three full real days, that's just like... A frightening prospect to me. All right, this is all ready, so let's go grab our scythe and get that uh, get that sorted out. I also need to start checking the, the green, checking in at the greenhouse daily now that our hops are fully bloomed. Let's get some fiber. A lot. Of, I'm always just overwhelmed by the sheer amount of fiber that you get from these things. That's so funny. 265 pieces of fiber. That's, that, should, that should last us a while. I don't even fully remember what we needed fiber for, like why we started our little fiber farm, but I think we'll be uh, set for at least the next little while. What am I doing here? I'm trying to sell this. That's right. I should add a command to Timby where it just does a random amount of barks. <laughs> that can be kind of cute. We'll consider it. Ooh, our forge down here is actually ready as well. This will help with our uh, foraging experience a little bit. Should I leave some of these coffee beans, you think, so that we can, like, replant a coffee harvest if we want to? I don't know if we're going to be harvesting coffee again next year, but it might not be the worst idea to at least leave some in case we feel like it, right? Because it will, it is, like, a pretty decent source of money, all things told. And we also probably want it to be able to make more triple shot espressos, so... In the future, have a good supply of those. I think it's probably a probably a good idea. Yo, he here. Tim Beeb? Yeah, Tim Beeb's always here. <laughs> uh, the coffee era is behind us. Don't say that. Don't tell me that, Karita. We will never be out of the coffee era so long as I live. Look at all this coffee. We can't just forget about this. I mean, I guess you don't need to forget about it for it to be... Like, over, but... <laughs> Alright, this is gonna fill out our freaking... No, don't eat the wild plum. This is gonna fill out our inventory very, very quickly here. Looks like you'll need an upgraded axe. Thanks. Thanks for rubbing it in. 
Jeez Louise, this game sometimes. All right, well, let's go store these forgeables safely somewhere. Uh, do I want to keep, like, all these forgeables? This seems like this, this chest is so full. I don't need all this stuff. What do I need to keep? I should keep, um, let me sell these, like, extra hazelnuts, since I'll keep, like, just the regular quality ones. And we'll just sell, like, all the, all the extra high quality stuff here. I think that's probably fine. When is the tea era? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're ever going to be in a spot where we need vast amounts of green tea. But I wouldn't be opposed to it either. I really should have, like, cleared some of these tools out of my inventory. So that I have a little more room. But it's fine. I'm sure it'll all work out. Look, this is working out perfectly. I, I never... Okay, well. <laughs> had to go and open my big mouth, didn't I? All right, once more back. If I had the mini obelisk around, that would probably be for the best. But that's served better at the greenhouse, I still think. I still believe. Go ahead and dump these in here. Uh, the wild plums are part of our fruit chest. Now let's actually like, get rid of this stuff. Uh, this and this. Tiara or Tiara? <laughs> Creatrix Tiara? Caroline Friendship T Arc. Tell me about your day, Haley. My day has not been uh, has <laughs> not been very interesting. All things told, like I said, I'm on my first day of holidays from work, and most of that was spent either like I was getting a bunch of groceries today for uh for my long hermit stay, where I'm just planning on staying like inside for most of these two weeks, because <laughs> I'm just like that, and then playing Elden Ring. Tomorrow I'll definitely get back into the grind of like properly like editing and stuff and focusing more on the YouTube stuff because I do want to do more focusing down of my uh, my YouTube content while I have the free time. I have like so much more free time than I normally do when, when I'm because I normally work like 40 hours a week and even th then it's like uh, like in the times that I'm off during that I'm always usually so like zonked from working that it's uh, hard to get much done. So I'm looking forward to seeing just how productive I can be with my shackles loosened a little bit, you know what I mean? We'll see how that all fit, how that all pans out here. Nice staycation, exactly. I love that word, staycation. All right, uh, we got some pale ale on the go here. So how does this work? This this is like we want. Oh gosh, I kept. Why did I keep my? <laughs> Everything's so full. Okay, let me go fix this up. So this pale ale, um, we should probably just like sell that outright, huh? Oh gosh, okay, we're selling. I'm so flustered. There's so many forgeables and stuff that I don't normally have on me. Do that. I'm just gonna sell these blackberries, to be honest with you. I know I don't have the bear's knowledge or whatever, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, this pale ale. So we should sell it, or do we keep it until we get casks and then, like, age it for, like, maximum profit potentiality? I feel like just selling them is, like, fine for the most part. But I don't know what the what the hop meta is, if there is one, if there is such a thing. So I should be doing stuff like let, let me just go around. I'll just harvest all my hops, and we'll go, we'll do a, we'll do two laps like this. It kind of defeats the purpose of even having the the kegs next to them like that. If I'm just gonna go back around anyway, but it's fine. Ooh, we got uh, is that starfruit ready to go? It looks like it might be actually. go. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, this starfruit is ready. Let's go ahead and get some of that. Not bad, not bad. No quality, but we weren't really expecting any quality because it's uh, we didn't fertilize it or anything. Sell the pale ale. Casks aren't worth it. I'd age wine. That's probably fair. Yeah, we'll just use our, our cask for like starfruit wine and stuff when we eventually get to that need for 10 million dollars. All right. Um, so yeah, we'll see how much this sells for. I don't even know how much pale ale is worth. We do have the artisan profession, so that should help out. The seed maker, we need to give Kent one. Um, or the starfruit, I mean. Otherwise, I think we just seed maker all these, right? Seed maker all the starfruit. I would like I would like to finish off this soldier star quest just to have it off my mind. And then we just seed maker all the rest of this stuff. I don't think we seed maker it today. I think we wait a day just so we can have um 
peace of mind if they turn into like mixed seeds or something. We could like reset. Well, I guess we don't wouldn't really need to reset the day either way because it's not it's not make or break. So let's just go ahead and do it for if we're not going to reset the day regardless. Might as well just do that. Unless they all turn into mixed seeds, which would be astronomical odds. Um, <laughs> in that case, we might have a bit of a problem here, but I think we'll be fine. I can already see that we are fine in that regard anyway. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. No one's birthday today, I'm pretty sure, either. I think Jody's birthday is on the 11th, and that'll be the next one. Hope for a cactus fruit. We still have to, we still do have to do our cactus fruit uh, hunting today. Getting it done late in the day, we have a, an extra amount of, like, harvesting and chores and stuff to do today. Alright, so this... We just, like, replant these, basically. And then... I'm gonna yeet some of these blueberries. There we go. The star fruit. It's gonna take a long time to get there, to get to an actual, like, sizable star fruit farm, but once we can get that star star fruit wine going... Oh, we'll be happy. We'll be happy campers for sure. Okay, I should have just used the... I keep forgetting about the frickin' mini obelisk. I'm so dumb. <laughs> it's fine. It's not a big deal. Rip blueberries. You will not be missed. All right. You need to say this? I don't, you don't think that we that we need to talk about Bruno? Or we don't talk about Bruno lives up to the hype, but surface pressure does? I really need to watch Encanto is all I'm getting out of this. <laughs> it's It's been on my mind. It's I've got the time now that I've got... Uh, I've got a little bit more time anyway. Like I said, now that I'm on holidays. So I might as well take that time and put it to good use in some capacity to catch up on some of that. Yo, Chaos Stripe, welcome. Miss anything important from the last stream? Uh, we started, like... I don't know if we missed too, if you missed too much important. We got a new we got new drip. I mean, it's old drip, but it's old new. If you know what I mean, it's new for us. Don't worry about it, Alex. Don't worry about it. Your grandma told you, you should spend. I thought he said. I thought I read. I misread that as singing instead of studying. And I'm like, dang, I didn't know Alex was a singer. Let's just double check here. Jody's birthday yeah, coming up. Uh, I forgot to give this to Kent. I think he was, like, right over here playing catch with Vincent or something. There you go, buddy. Don't t don't let Jody see. She d I did just see her sneaking into the house not too long ago. I think we're all right. So many blackberries. Blackberry, blueberry. We got the trash can hat. How am I only noticing this now? I think we got that a while ago, actually. I don't remember exactly when, but it was uh, it was early on in our uh, in our gar in our garbage can grind here. Ooh, new new quests here. Um, the Queen of Sauce was recently spotted during a dining on fresh bok choy. Now everyone in the world wants one. Anyone who ships a hundred bok choys, tell me that you've that you're making up words without telling me you're making up words. What the heck? Cho is that really how bok choy is plural? Bok choy is pl pluralized? It must be. That's got to be something that like Eric Baroni was like, oh shoot, I need to be able to pluralize bok choy, but I don't know how it's spelled. And he looked it up, and this is it. But like, I don't believe it. This doesn't look like a real word. What the heck? We also can't do that because like bok choy is like. I think it might be one of the crops that we needed from the Skull Cavern treasure rooms. Either way, let's um. This is not really... I mean, we're not really doing many of these quests regardless. We'll, we'll accept this one just so it can't come back. Can't come back, like, next week anyway. Oh, thank you for this. I forgot to check that. That is a ridiculous-looking word. You think bok choy is the plural? So it's like it's like a moose situation? Could be. Or fish. Although fish is, I think, is also correct. All right, so that that was our garbage run for the day. Let's test out our fancy new toy. Um, Decay, I see you in chat. Would you type? Would you kindly type exclamation point add for me? And we'll add, and then we'll uh, not not like add as in like an ad break, but we'll see if it works. <laughs> I tested it uh, briefly, and it worked for me. So we'll see if I messed everything up or not. Let's see. All right, so now cactus fruit should display an extra eight on top of what we were previously having. 
because we just checked eight, uh, eight garbage cans. 728, that's correct. What's the plural of sap? Uh, it depends on the context, I think. Like, you can't really... Uh, yeah, it looks like the command, command worked perfectly, so we're good to go. All right, we'll just have to keep make sure to stay on top of that. Uh, sap, like, like if you're talking about, like, a person, like, like, oh, what a sap, then it would just be saps, right? Um, but if you're talking about, like, like, sap is in, like, the liquid, like, that's like asking, like, what's the, mul what's the plural of water? Like, I guess, like, it, in that, it, that's also a context-dependent thing, because you could have, like, multiple waters, as in, like, glasses of water at a restaurant or something. But, in theory, it's like, you wouldn't call the ocean many waters. I mean, you could, but you might get looked at like a bit of a weirdo. No, keep the Joja Cola. It's important to me. I want a stack of 999 Joja Cola by the time we're done with this. Mark my words. Okay. Let's go ahead and, um, we did a lot of mining and stuff in the previous stream. Let's go ahead and chop down some more trees. I don't know how many more trees we have to chop around here, but... Every little bit for every little bit of forging experience is going to be uh, helpful. Some of these trees are starting to to bloom. Any plans for today's stream? More cactus fruit grinds. More uh, like the the re the only real time sink that we have right now is um is our level ten foraging and mining grinds because I want to hit level ten foraging and mining so that we only have to get up to five hundred thousand gold for Grandpa's evaluation in order to get all 12, uh, 12 points and get the four candles. That is the plan. Whether it works out that way remains to be seen. But otherwise, yeah, we're just, like, checking the traveling cart. We're waiting on a cactus fruit, waiting on the world to change, basically. Chloe the Lumberjack, it's true. That might even be the name of the profession I took. What is the name? Forester. Right? Forester is this one, and then I think Lumberjack is the one we take at the end to get, like, hardwood from regular trees. Who has that many specific kinds of sap? Oh, some more trees down there. That's good. I want to get to this tree over here, though. It's a bit of a maze. There are many secrets in this maze, many of which drive some peeps insane. Name that reference. Why did I get the tool upgrades? Um, well, the copper axe was a mistake because we just didn't know at the time that uh, that enchantments could allow you into the secret woods without the copper axe. Had a powerful enchantment on the basic axe that was that was discovered exclusively because of this challenge. At least I, I think like like there was no real record or mention of it before this challenge. So I like to think that we made a little bit of a discovery there. Uh, as far as the steel pickaxe goes, you need it for one of the golden walnuts. If you don't want to exploit it. That's where we're at as far as tool upgrades. I don't think we've gotten any other tool, upgra tool upgrades, though. The golden scythe doesn't really count because you don't pay for it. Plant pumpkins for easy Krobus gifts. I don't know if I have many pumpkins to seed maker is the thing. I can check, though. I didn't know Krobus like pumpkin. That's actually kind of, like, wholesome. I'm just picturing him, like, like you give him, like, a nice round little pumpkin, and he, like, hugs it with his no arms. But, you know, <laughs> it's the thought that counts. I actually, I saw that, uh, Nico, I saw that in Easy Lily's newest video. She talked about the, uh, the fact that you can use a, ba a ba an enchanted basic axe and showed, like, the tweets from uh, Concerned Ape about it. And that kind of made me smile. I was like, ooh. It it was like it was like a weird sense of pride knowing that that information that we unearthed here live is like proliferated to such an extent. Not that it's like useful for literally anyone, basically, to know that you can get a basic a basic axe enchanted and get into the secret woods that way instead. Everyone just uses the chair anyway if they don't want to upgrade the tools, so it's like whatever. But. My gosh, that's my discovery. <laughs> that's our discovery, I should say. I theorized it, and then other people tested it. And that was uh, sort of how it worked out, if I remember right. 
Come on. There we go. <laughs> Which golden walnut? There's one on the, uh, on the farm. Like, on the beach south of your island farmhouse. That is blocked by one of those big rocks that you need a steel pickaxe to break. What's my favorite season? It's gotta be spring or fall. They both, like, I love the transitory vibes of both of those seasons. Summer gets too hot. Winter is just terrible for driving around here, so it that's really hurts its chances. I think if I was if I was pressed, like it, I think it could like flip flop between like when you asked me. It's one of those like answers that's very uh, dependent on my mood. But I think uh, most of the time I would probably say that fall is my favorite season. Just the smells, the the looks of it all, like the oranges and the reds and the purples of the trees. It's just a, it's just a great vibe, all in all. We did get the secret statue from the uh, super cucumber. Yes, it is now, as Karita says, the guardian of the of the. Wait, who said it? No, not Karita. Kellifer. I for some reason I get your names confused in my head. I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> uh, Kelly, that is the guardian of the uh, the mountain lake. Look at how much wood we have. What the heck? We're, we've been chopping so many trees. That's insane. A little teleporting Timby of action. All right, off to bed we go. Being a simp for fall. Oh my god. <laughs> how much is this pale ale? 8,400 per harvest of pale ale. That's actually, that's going to add up pretty quick, I think. Because we get that every, like, two days. Why do I fish out the super cucumbers? Uh, so when it gets to, when the fish pond capacity gets to 10, there's no difference as far as, like, what it can produce versus when it, uh, when it's at 9, at least not for super cucumbers. So there's no reason to not fish it out since we'll, there's no effect on, like, productivity, and also we get uh, just a free super cucumber out of the deal, which can be good for, like, gifting and stuff for the wizard. Ooh. A little copper, I don't mind. One week from today, we gotta be ready. We gotta get that iridium quality chub. I'm gonna, maybe I'll fish that up today just so I don't forget. Grab some of this nonsense. Are those ready? Uh, I believe so, yes. Seems to be. Yeah, copper bar is actually kind of nice. We need all the copper we can get around here. Fall just has a good vibe. Also, so also probably like some of the best Stardew Valley music is in fall. It's some good stuff. Honestly, though, like all the all the seasonal music is kind of top tier in my opinion. I can't think of any of the seasonal songs that I like actively like dislike or am even like lukewarm on. They're all just good. I just hear them and I'm like, oh yeah, it's that season. The only ones I'll say the only ones that I get uh, a little tired of sometimes are the spring songs. But that's just because, like, anytime you start a new Stardew file, those are the songs you hear most often, especially if, if you're, like, trying to do any kind of, like, weird speed run or something. And you're just running through fall over and over, or spring over and over and over again. That can kind of... that Then you kind of start... To, it starts to lose its luster a little bit, but they're still great songs, just on their own merits. Nothing wrong with them in the slightest... Alright, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of Wumba in my life. Alright. Uh, let's go to the greenhouse and take care of that. Take care of business here. You'll, oh, blueberry harvest! That's kind of nice. Like, we're, we're kind of, like, destroying all the blueberries as we... as we get them. Or as we get, like, new, uh... new ancient seeds and star fruit and stuff. But while we got the blueberries, I'm just, I'm happy to have them. I don't think I want to, like, process the blueberries in any capacity, though, really. I think I'm just going to, like, sell all these blueberries, to be real with you. Because, like, yes, I could get, I could turn them all into, like, jam or blueberry wine or something weird like that. And it's probably, like, ultimately worth it in the long run if you're looking at the big picture. But it's just, like, more work than I want to do, <laughs> to be real. So I think we just, uh, I think we just sell these. 
we're not setting up a jam city of our own, so I think we're, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and harvest all this fiber as well. Beautiful. Favorite holiday? Gotta be Halloween. I am a uh, I'm a fan of hor of the horror genre just in general. All right, um, so let's go ahead. I don't know how many. I guess I don't need to save like that many coffee beans if I want to set up a next year's coffee crop. I still I'm still on the fence whether I even want to do that, but good to have some around. So we're gonna run out of coffee beans in a second here. Yeah, the whole vibe around Halloween. I, l I like the scary things, and I also like the spoopy things, like the si like the silly like cartoon skeletons and like the you know all those dollar store like plastic pumpkin plate things that you hang on the wall. I'm all about all of it. Every everything Halloween aesthetic is just my vibe, to be honest. All right, we'll take these back. Uh, gosh, I hate having so little inventory space. It's so bad. It's so bad. Eat blackberry? No, but I will check for a tasty apricot. Better luck next time, I guess. Spooky, scary skeletons, exactly. Do you think it's possible to do this challenge in one year? Literally, no. Because you can't get perfection in one year. Because <laughs> you need to like befriend Kent and get the recipe for Queen of Sauce. Do I think it's possible in two years? Which I think is like the minimum requirements for perfection. Uh, Probably also no. But I mean, I'd have to I'd have to do the math on that to really figure it out. Why did I keep these hops? I should have put them away in my chest. No reason to have them on me. Hops go in the greenhouse chest. Yes, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. You and I were on the same wavelength on that one. All right, and let's grab the fiber out of here so I don't forget it. And away we go. Maybe one year IRL. Oof. <laughs> Hitting me with a reality check. Yep. Uh, someone did mention pumpkins, right? Pump Like planting pumpkins for uh, Acrobus. We got some pumpkin seeds there, and we have a single solitary lonely pumpkin right here. We could plant some pumpkins. I'm not opposed to the idea. We might as well use that space down where the, where the coffee beans used to be for it. Might as well, it's just kind of sitting there right now. Oh, we. All, I also did want to... Um, we could you we could make some more oh, that's what I should have done with all those forgeables. I should have made more like uh like forgeable seeds. So what do I need for that? This, this, some wild plums, and what's the other thing? For like fall seeds. Uh blackberries, well that's easy. <laughs> hazelnuts. I, I'm just I'm just gonna use for for real with you. To be real with you, I'm gonna use these hazelnuts in here. There's only one hazelnut in here. <laughs> Did I store the rest of the... Where did I... I swear I kept, like, more hazelnuts than this. Maybe I already used them all. It's fine. I'll just need to remember for next time when I actually, like, harvest these, like, uh, wild seeds that I should make them into more wild seeds. Wild thing. All right, so we'll make 20 of those. Then we'll get some pumpkins going. Like a true blue-blooded farmer. Am I going to get the Galaxy Sword? Undoubtedly, because it is free. <laughs> um, Do this. Do a little of that. Actually, no, this goes in the other chest. My organizational system is amazing. All right, grab these. Grab this. Plop that in there. Because why wouldn't you? All right, uh, we'll go ahead and plant these. We'll need to hoe some more ground here, potentially. Although we're not going to end up filling out this entire place with like pumpkins or anything, the pumpkins I should—I guess I should fertilize if I want to get any like good quality ones for Krobus. But I don't know if I—I uh, I don't know if it's necessarily that important. Let's go ahead and drink some coffee while we harvest our coffee. Put a little coffee in your coffee. Shakes Haley like a magic eight ball. That is how, kind of how the command feels sometimes. It, I am very happy to see that like uh, when I go into the Nightbot dashboard and it shows me like all the statistics for like chat and things. That like it shows you like the top most used command and like by a long shot it's the exclamation point Haley. I'm glad you guys are having as much fun as with that as I had like making it. I think it was a it was a good idea. All things told. 
All right, we'll go ahead and leave these coffee beans just in case we want to do any more harvesting. So I guess that's it for these uh, this coffee. If I want to do any more planting, I should say. I guess that's it as far as like coffee harvest goes. Or coffee brewing. That's the word, brewing. <laughs> A single little pumpkin seed. And then when I talk her up, she just uh, hits hits you with a hi. <laughs> I, it, it, that's so funny. I'm talking about how like good and fun the, the exclamation point Haley command is, and then someone goes and uses it, and she just says hi. <laughs> hi, Haley. All right. Okay. What is on the agenda? I feel like I'm forgetting things, but I'm always forgetting things. I'm per I'm a perpetual forgetter. I don't need this golden scythe on me, nor do I need the co the copper axe right now. Let's do a garbage run. We already watered everything here, so we're good there. And away we go. You can't spam it though. I think the uh, down like the cooldown time on the on most of the commands, including the Haley command, is like ten seconds, fifteen seconds potentially. Fifteen second cooldown. That's correct. Yeah. Plant the mixed seeds. I'd rather save the mixed seeds for um, for making more fiber seeds, potentially. I think that's a better use case. Because I don't think there's too much we can get out of mixed seeds that are uh, better for us than just, like, getting extra, extra amounts of fiber. How are you doing there, buddy? Should have brought a diamond for you, but it's okay. Like a diamond in the rough. As the community center coming along, uh, only two things left. We need amaranth and we need a cactus fruit, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Could be done today. Well, not today because we needed the amaranth, but could be done this season. Could be done um, 20 million seasons from now. Who can really say? I mean, I guess Blade could, but... Did I check the one up near uh, Evelyn's house? I feel like I might have missed it. No, I got it. Okay, we're good. A little bit of cookies. Extra cookie. <laughs> Just a, a good luck cookie for you. A consolation prize cookie. Hey, you tried to get a cactus root. Here's a cookie for your, uh, for your ambition and your dedication. We're closing in on 100 days of checking for, um, for cactus root and garbage cans. There's a there's a YouTube video title for you. I, I searched through gar I I dug through garbage for a hundred days in Stardew Valley. Here's what I got. Just, it's all just Joja Cola. Always was, always has been. Use the mix seeds to get amaranth. You cannot get uh, amaranth from mix seeds, unfortunately. Mix seeds don't let you get like anything in the game. They they have a specific pool of seeds that they pull from. By the way, I wanted to show off. Um, I noticed this when I was watching Charlie Barley's most recent vo VOD from her like uh, Stardew Valley stream. There's a little cactus down here. We got a cact. It's like a cactus fruit shrine. We can come and pray here for uh, for cactus fruit luck from time to time. I kind of love that. There's just a little cactus sitting there. It's pretty good. Sorry, I bumped my microphone. By the way, that might have made a little bit of an oof sound. You were thinking of wheat. No worries, piano player. Yep. When's he planting the amaranth? The amaranth is in the ground, Zaniella. We're just waiting on it. We are. It actually already did grow once. We just uh, only got one seed back from it from the seed maker, unfortunately. So we got to grow it all over again. All right. Uh, Joja Cola goes in here. Go ahead and hold on to the hazelnuts. Blackberries. I guess I might as well just use this, uh, use my fridge as more of a chest for some of these things. The blackberries don't need to go in there. They have their own dedicated thing. Have a good night there, Oceana. Thank you for tuning in for a little bit. Opinions on Hollow Knight? Uh, very good game from the little bit that I've played, but I still need to play more and would, uh, who knows, maybe I'll get a chance to do that in my time off from work here. That would be awesome. 
Let's go. What do, what, am, what resources am I running low on that I could shore up a little bit from the mines? Um, we need more iron. Iron is a big one, and we can probably get some coal on the side. Let's go ahead and do that. The last little bit of our day here. Little iron, little mining experience. Never hurt anybody. You fell asleep last stream, so you have no recollection of the amaranth. That's fine. Put a put your favorite sleep themed emoji in chat if you've ever fallen asleep to the stream or the vods, either either on purpose or by accident. I know that's a, that's a common thing, and you know what? I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind it in the slightest. I find it to be somewhat of a compliment, to be honest with you. What am I looking for here? Nothing, I guess. Yeah, there's there's a few <laughs> there's a few of them in there, a few little sleepy emojis. No such thing as too much iron; it can always just be turned into bombs. Very fair, very fair. Is this the way people farm iron? I guess it's the way people farm copper. <laughs> didn't didn't really expect that, but I'll take the copper, I guess. I don't know if this is optimal, but it uh, it it works for me. It's just a nice little like like one track thing that my that my brain can focus on. Just like go up and down between floors forty and the start and the surface, and you'll be good. Because normally I'm very like uh, I'm very able to focus a lot and like pay attention to what I'm doing and all that stuff in a game. But when I'm streaming, I have to split my attention so many different ways that it like. It just ends up breaking my brain. So if I need to do some kind of convoluted iron strategy, then uh, I don't, I don't know if I can manage that. Anyone watch the trials? I've not caught up on the Stardew Valley trials. I, I really need to. I want to just like binge watch it at some point. I've only seen I've only seen the first episode to be to be real with you in its entirety. And I need to, I definitely need to watch more of it. It is good quality content. It's so good. <laughs> it's so true, yeah. It's the kind of content that I would like definitely aspire to make if I were in like Z's position. He's a uh, very, very talented. All right. Next week is the finale. That had me confused because, like, in the I was looking at the I looked at the description for uh for the most recent episode of the Stardew Valley Trials, and it said like penultimate episode next week, and I'm like penultimate means like second to last, so unless that's just like a mistake or something, but. So I was looking through the description to see if there's any like indication as to what they were doing because I assume it was like a trivia game based on just like the name of the of the episode Brainiacs, right? I love me some good trivia. I spent I I my, I practically live a second life on the wiki, so I feel like if I was in in that trivia contest, I could have like I could have done some I could have done numbers. Is all I'm saying. Not this weekend, but the weekend after it is the final. Okay, good to know, Blade. Welcome, Blade, by the way. One hundred and fifty. Why? Why are people just saying one hundred and fifty-one? I'm confused. <laughs> did I? What am I? T uh, I'm trying to think. What did I? What might have said that would trigger one hundred and fifty ones? This hey Argon, quick question about Ginger Island. Is your plan to get all the items for an obelisk on day one, or to get the farmhouse day one and stay for longer? I'm going to get the farmhouse on Ginger Island, and then I think, I don't think I actually need, I, th I at first when I was doing like the research for this, I thought I would need to get all the resources on my first trip to Ginger Island in order to build the island obelisk, and I think that would be ideal if I could do that. 
But I think I can also just, like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this. I should just be able to, like, go there, get the island farmhouse, stay until I get the recipe for island warp totems. And then make sure I have enough resources to, like, craft one. And then I can leave the island basically anytime I want, as long as I have one island warp totem to come back. That should work, I would I would think. I can't see why it wouldn't, but uh, definitely the obelisk. We're going to need it at some point regardless. We also need the recipe, because, like, the recipe for island warp totems, I think, does cost money. So we'll need to focus, so we'll need to buy that at some point anyway for the crafting requirement of perfection. Or we can also, yeah, we can also find island warp totems in the volcano. That's a good point. That's probably worthwhile. Because we'll be, we'll be going through that volcano regardless. Either way, Ginger Island is going to be an interesting experience, to be sure. Primarily because we only have 12 inventory spots. So whatever we bring to Ginger Island, uh, we have to pick very carefully. And like a lot of a lot of that inventory space is going to be taken up by various tools. Because what do you need on Ginger Island in order to like? Because I'll need like tools in order to be able to get enough golden walnuts and stuff to unlock the island farmhouse, right? So I imagine I'm going to need like the basics. Like I'm going to need my hoe. I'm going to need the pickaxe. I think you need, I'm going to need the watering can probably, right? Because I need to like you need to be able to use that to cross lava. Probably need I probably need the axe. Chests. I could bring some chests. I don't know if that's the if that's necessarily the strat, but I'm definitely open to the idea. I have to bring almost every tool. I'm trying to think. Is there a tool that we like don't have to bring? The scythe, I guess. Probably don't, probably don't need the scythe for anything that I can think of. Oh, do we need the, oh do we need the copper pan? I don't know if we need the copper pan, but I know I know you need it for some golden walnuts at some point, I think, maybe? I don't know, I need to do more research on the golden walnuts for sure. But, um... I know... I don't know if we need it, like, on our first trip, necessarily. Cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. Put the pan on your head. That's probably honestly like the play. The fact that that that, that can serve as a, an inventory spot for the pan specifically is probably a good idea. Good little resource hustle today. Not bad, not bad. Might as well get some of this going, too. And away we go. Oh, there's level 10 mining! Well, that's a good that's a good goal to get. Only one more level until we get, um... Until we have all max levels. We need level 10 foraging, and that is it. Not too shabby. Now, I think probably here, Blacksmith is the play, right? Because, like, chance to find coal doubled, sure. We need a lot of coal. That's, that's, that's a given. But how are we farming coal most of the time? We're, we're killing dust sprites. I don't know if that's going to change eventually. I don't know if this makes, like, mining for coal the more viable option. But I feel like Blacksmith, in order to help facilitate getting to 10 million dollars eventually, would be nice. Like, just because we could sell, like, gold bars if we really had to. I don't know. What are you guys? What are you guys feeling? I'm seeing it. It looks like it's kind of kind of mixed. Like there's some people who are like, "Why would you sell bars?" Like I feel like we're like 10 million is a lot of money, but I don't know. I we're gonna be playing for so long too. That does this matter as much? Because like we're gonna be just selling like so much like pale ale and other artisan goods and things. That like does it matter that we would be able to sell metal bars? Or are we just going to get to 10 million gold regardless anyway, and it doesn't really matter? And Prospector could just help us get a little bit extra coal on the side? Radioactive bars are bank. Fair, fair. Blacksmith is good for min-max iridium runs, but I don't see you getting many slash any of those. Fair enough, yep. 
The coal is such a pain to farm. Chance to find coal doubled. It, this could this could be really good when we actually like are going through like skull caverns and stuff. We're gonna put it up. It's been a while since we've done a poll, and it looks like people are fairly split. So let's go ahead and set up a poll in chat here. Which profession? Because I could see it going either way. There's definitely pros and cons to to both options, and this seems like the most uh, reasonable way to use to do this. Prospector and burglar ring is so good for coal. Okay, does prospector this this does influence my decision a little bit? Does prospector it says chance to find coal is doubled, right? Does that mean exclusively from rocks, or does that include the chance from dust sprites? I would have to assume it's only from rocks because it's a mining profession. But it, I mean, Stardew Valley is weird sometimes, right? Because if, if it is from Dust Sprites as well, then that could be... That, that seems like almost a no-brainer at that point. Exclusively from rocks. See, that's, that's, that's what makes sense in my head, yeah. Prospector is winning with a healthy 74% of the poll right now. You spend an in-game day, in day grinding iridium to make into bars and sell, and you make way, mu way much less than just sleeping through a week of making, making ancient fruit wine. That's fair. It seems like everyone wants Prospector. I think uh, the, the polls definitely speaks for itself. It's not, it's not even really that close, so we'll go ahead and uh, do Prospector. Either way, like I said, I don't, like I've said before many a time, I don't think these professions are going to be the be-all, end-all of this challenge. Doesn't give you much more coal, but I don't see you selling bars this run. That's fair. I thought it was a potential avenue to pursue if we needed to, if we needed some extra if we needed some extra money at some point, but let me go ahead and move things around here. Uh Prospector, let's do it. Get her done. Neither are game changers, exactly, yeah. Uh... Blacksmith is king when it comes to maximizing profits per day. That's what I would have to imagine, especially if you're doing, like, crazy Skull Caverns runs and getting, like, a ton of, uh, like I said, Iridium and, like, radioactive bars on the side, I'm sure, are, are fantastic as well. Definitely, definitely the way to go if you're just going for, like, sheer profit, but with, like I said, with this, we're, t we're gonna be spending so much time in this challenge regardless that it's not gonna really matter, I don't think. You guys managed to convince me. How is our jade collection looking? I, I keep just putting the jade away and like not even looking at how many we have. I'll look in a second here. Thank you, George. George just keeps sending us stone every single day, I swear. I, like, where is George getting all this stone from? Did he say he like found it in the attic or something in his letter? But like, how, how big's your attic that you got like 700 pieces of stone in there, dude. You're wild. You're not telling me that George is down in the mines getting it for himself. That, I mean... All the all the power to George, but I don't think he's, uh... He's able-bodied enough to, to be doing that. If, he's, if he is going down and mining, like, oh my god. Superhuman status, but... George used to be a miner? That I do know. I remember that from his heart event. But... I don't, like, that's a lot of stone to just hold on to. 75 jades, not so bad. We need to start, we need to eventually make more crystallariums, but they require iridium, so that's kind of not in the cards for us right now. Now that'll help our jade production immensely. Good stuff. Do it like this. This is probably the best, but the better way to do this since that doesn't break my brain. Okay. I 
I wish all these hops weren't like, I wish there was a way to just make them all like the same quality. <laughs> so that I could just like run down and just hold the button and not even think about it like I do with the, uh, with the coffee. Speaking of coffee, this is our last, uh, our last collection of coffee here. So we need, we'll, we'll need to start using these kegs for something else. I guess I can use them for more pale ale. Cause like, cause like the pale ale takes a day, like one to two days to process. So we might as well like have twice as many kegs as we have pay as we have hops, and then we don't uh, lose any like efficiency there, right? Probably the best way to go about it. Now the question, um, we'll save we'll save this for now just in case I want to make any more triple shot espresso, but we probably will sell most of that eventually. So let's go ahead. Because I, th I feel like we should just move some of these kegs. Let's gather, like, because I'd need 20 of them, right? I don't know if we're going to be able to, like, fit another 20 in the greenhouse in, like, a like a smart way. We could, like, put them, like, around the greenhouse, too. Just, like, in the general area, you know? Might be a little weird, but we'll, we'll figure it out here. So let's see. So we can do, like, one, two, three, four, five. We could do, like, that. And if I move this chest... Put another five down here. This is kind of... Kind of breaking my brain a little bit. Let's go ahead and do like... Just like this, this... I, I like the symmetry. I need symmetry in my life. <laughs> just throw one keg right in front there. How about that? Wait, that's 15 only. Oh shoot. I'm dumb. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Oh gosh, this hurts. This hurts to watch, even for me. Uh, is that... Am I doing that right? Am I crazy? It's not going to be symmetrical at all. It's because this wood pile here is, like, throwing things off. Uh, we do it like that. And then one in front. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> And then Haley comes in with the quote, it's good to learn things along the back wall. Might be a good idea, honestly. But we'll let this ride for right now. <laughs> it's a little silly looking. But it works. It gets the job done. It's all uh, just one big long keg snake. Okay. Uh, we will need to... Here, we'll just stick this here for right now. I don't think we're... this chest is a permanent. But... Not a permanent addition. But it gets the job done. <laughs> it's functional. That's all we need. That's all we need. Baby. Cursed kegs, you're telling me. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and dump some of this. In here. Alright. Bada boom, bada boom. And we're good to go. Jody's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, let's bring something for Krobus, though. Lest we forget. Little diamond. We only had to reset the day one time so far in this challenge. That's so nice. It's not going to stay that way forever. I can almost guarantee it. The one thing I think that we are definitely going to have to reset for is um when you have to crack we have to crack open two golden coconuts the first one is always guaranteed to be a golden walnut the second one we need a fossilized skull from and um you can't open those in geo crushers you have to pay clint for those but you can like i think you can i've not haven't actually tested this but you you should be able to like modify like what is in that golden coconut based on, like, the order you do things, right? Like, if I do, like, a golden coconut at Clint's, and then it's not the fossilized skull, I can reset the day, and then do, like, a geode and a geode crusher, and then the golden coconut should be something different. Is that correct? I'm pretty sure that's how it would work. And I'm pretty sure, unless we get very lucky and get the fossilized skull as our second thing, like, actually, then we're gonna have to do that. It's the order, yes. Okay, that make there we go. <laughs> that's all that's all the confirmation I need right there. I want to pull a prank of my dad. I need a frozen tear. 
What kind of prank could you pull with a frozen tear? I don't even know if I want to know, to be honest. Is she gonna, like, tape it to her face and make her dad think that she's, like, crying? Great prank, Abigail. Great prank. 10 out of 10. Geo manipulation. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. That's probably gonna be the closest that this challenge gets to like using a glitch slash exploit, but I wouldn't consider it in that same category. I think it's uh I think it's save scumming for sure, like like cheating by saving and reloading the game. But uh, that's uh, within the rules of the challenge. I put it in the rules specifically, so. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Creatrix coming in with a $5 super chat. It's possible to get enough golden walnuts to unlock the farmhouse without tools. A lot a lot more only need a hoe for dig digging. Okay. Okay. We'll see. I'm not sure. Like I said, I still need to do more research for Ginger Island for sure. Um... Do I want to go... I guess I don't really need to go mining much anymore now that we got our mining levels up. I guess it's just uh, tree chop, tree chopping time. Yeah, that is good to know, Creatrix. And thank you for the support as well, always. It's, it's, it's greatly appreciated. Sorry I went silent there for a second. I was just, like, thinking about things and how I'm going to... Like, because it's like, getting the island farmhouse is, like, the, the crucial step to staying on Ginger Island. But after that, we still need to, like have things to get, um, the resources to get island warp totems and stuff like that. So we'll need certain things to get, like, through the volcano and all that stuff. But either way, we will cross that bridge when we inevitably come to it. Make another save and get to Ginger Island to practice your route? I probably will. I probably will use, like, uh... I don't think I'm gonna, like, play through a whole other save file to, like, get to Ginger Island. Specifically, I'll probably just use, like, mods to get me to Ginger Island. So I can practice that over and over again if I need to. I think that is 100% the play. Weapon, pickaxe, watering can, hoe, food, stack of wood, sprinklers, ancient seeds, bombs, fishing pole. That seems potentially good. I just worry. I, I just worry that there's going to be something that all of us collectively forget. And it's going to be too late when we get to Ginger Island and find out. Even even after I practice, I feel like it's there's going to be something that's just that just stymies me for some reason. Well, that's going to be part of the challenge. When we, and when we inevitably get there. I'm excited. It's going to be like a little... Uh, like, when we first get there to get the island farmhouse, there's going to be, like, a little bit of a speedrun element to it, and I'm excited about that. Not that I think it's that hard of a speedrun. By the way, did we do uh, exclamation point ad for the uh, for the garbages today? I know I didn't. I just didn't see if Decay did or not. That is the one tough thing about that, that uh, command is that we need to keep track of it. making a backup save against the rules? It is not. I think it even specifically states in the, uh... Thank you, thank you, Decay. I think it even spe specifically states in the rules and guidelines that uh, backup saves are allowed. I feel like I wrote that in there somewhere. If not, then I really should. So many trees, dude. I didn't even have to go and plant all those trees myself. I could have just let the farm do all the work for me here. Exclusively pine trees, too. Why do you need a cactus seed? Exclamation point FAQ for uh, all your price of perfection related questions. I believe that one should be in there. Do you have a command to update cactus fruit for when we find one? <laughs> I, you know what? 
It's gonna be a one-time event. I think I can handle that one manually. I haven't set up any command for uh, to automate that process because once it happens, oh boy, oh man. Every day that we go without a cactus fruit is one uh one extra decibel of the scream that I'm gonna emit when we do get the cactus fruit. We're approaching like making me mute by the by the end of it, I'm sure. But <laughs> no, I'm probably not gonna scream because I don't want to like freak out the people who are like sleeping to the vod or whatever. But I will be very excited. I'm not sure what noise I'm gonna make when I see the cactus fruit, but you can guarantee it's gonna be clipped to high hell. <laughs> I should add a command that only Argon can call. It contains the information on when the cactus fruit will be there. Put the temptate. Oh my god, Blade. You are actually the biggest troll I've ever seen. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. The fact that at any moment you could just like, like get that date and just like post it in chat. I, pre I very much appreciate that you don't. But the fact that you could is, uh, is temptation enough. To be honest, it's always just lurking in the back of my mind at all hours of the day. I'm tossing and turning, can't fall asleep at night because I'm like, Blade, I could just go message Blade on Discord. I'm, I'm about to fall asleep, so he's wide awake in New Zealand. He'll be able to answer right quick. <laughs> oh, it's going to be very interesting. No level 10 foraging yet. I'm not sure how many more trees we have to chop, but uh, we got to be getting close-ish, I would hope. Um, let's call it an early night. We could go down to like the cinder sap forest or something and chop more trees there. I don't know how many have re regrown by this point, but I don't feel the need to. Yeah. Yeah. With access to the seed, it's pretty easy to figure out the day. If you have the right tools, it definitely is. Yeah. I could, f I could figure out when we get a cactus fruit with, cause I, I mean, I have the seed. Pretty sure Argon knows how to water bomb. Oh yeah, I mean I'm all I've, I'm very well versed in the tactic of water bombing. I just don't want to do it because I don't want to blow your minds too much. I could bl I have I have a magic trick I could do right now with this uh, with this chair if I take it to the right place. But uh, <laughs> I don't. We'll we'll save that for a special time maybe. And it's not the trick you think it is. I promise. Pale Ale is so powerful. It's true, we're making, we're gonna be making uh, tons and tons of money. Alright, Fairy Rose is grown. So we now we grab it, and we Seed Maker it. Because we need, do we, we need more Fairy Roses, right? Do you need, you need a Fairy Seed to craft the Tub of Flowers? Uh, you don't. Was there a reason to pick this Fairy Rose? Do we need multiple Fairy Roses? I feel like it might be a good idea to do it just so just so we that we have it in case. What do you need fairy roses for specifically? Do you need them for like cooking, crafting, anything? Or is it just exclusively shipping? When you get the enchanted axe, you should share glitch into the woods and then chop the log on your way out. Ship and fa fairy dust. Fairy dust. I need to craft fairy dust, right? That's uh, that's an important thing to do. Okay, so, so we do need to do this. Just don't screw me. Don't make me have to change, update my reset counter to two. Come on, seed maker. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> Man, we have a pretty bad track record with those seed makers, huh? Anyway. Is there not honey in here? Oh, this is fairy rose honey. Ooh. Extra, extra spicy honey. Extra sweet, probably, really. Thank you, Demetrius. I'm gonna cherish this dream forever and ever. No one tell him. In before ancient seed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be the worst. Like, I'm always worried about the mixed seeds, but when you, when I get an, if I ever get an ancient seed instead of the seed I'm supposed to get from those seed makers, and it's like an important seed, I'm gonna be real upset. Because it's like, I can't even be like, like part of me is, is I'm going to be very conflicted, I think, at the end of the day is what it is. Because it's going to be like, oh, it's an ancient seed, which is supposed to be great. You're supposed to, you're supposed to love that. But at the same time, 
I have to reset the day. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. If that ever does come to pass. Because the mixed seeds you can at least be mad about. The ancient seeds, it's harder to be mad about, but... I guess we're past the point where ancient seeds are really that, uh... That hard to come by regardless. How many hops do I have in here? This is, what, 40? Yeah. You late? Am I crazy? Yeah, no, that's 40. Okay. Um... I guess I can just use... I might as, I might as well put the, use these kegs down here that are doing nothing right now. And just work through our surplus of, of hops. No reason to just let them stall down here. Not going to be quite enough kegs to get the job done. But that's alright. Pretty close, pretty close, honestly. A little blackberry season as well. Alright, we'll store this away. I'm gonna go get rid of that ke that uh, chest in the greenhouse, because I feel like I'm not gonna... Well, maybe I, I'll leave it for now, just because I, I don't know how many... I don't know how the math is gonna work out for the... Uh, for the hops, necessarily. Still searching that apricot. My lovely apricot. <laughs> Please come to me someday. I just really don't want the apricot to be like one of the last things I have to get just because the fruit bat cave is being mean. <laughs> that, would, that would feel like such a weird like anti-climax to the challenge if that does come to pass. I'm sure it won't because we have so much time. To get an apricot, that is not going to be a it's not going to be a problem. But the fact that it's still on the table is actually just really funny to me. Have I finished all the coffee? We still have some in reserve in case we want to plant a second second harvest of coffee next year. But we have a we have processed all our coffee for the time being. All right, what does jo Jody likes chocolate cake, doesn't she? It's her birthday. Jody birthday. I got you, Mary. I got you. I think she likes chocolate cake. I think she also likes diamonds, but this diamond is for Krobus. And if I can give her a cake on her birthday, I think that's just, like, better. I think she also likes, uh, oh, I thought this was crispy bass, but this is baked fish. I think she likes crispy bass. Impress Haley challenge to get every hat and clothing item. Oh, gosh, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> An all hat speedrun would be, uh, the death of any Stardew Valley speedrunner, I'm pretty sure. And pancakes? She likes pancakes as well. Do I have any pancakes? Sometimes I put these food items in the fridge. These pancakes could be nice. I do have pancakes. But I think the chocolate cake... Everyone, everyone's saying pancakes, so we'll swap We'll swap it out just because so I know. Like, in the back of my mind, I'm pretty sure chocolate cake works as well. But everyone's saying pancakes, so we'll, we'll let, that, let that ride. Top of the morning to you, Greg. Habu has a hat percent run. Does he really? D isn't, like, all getting all the hats, like, actually just, like, even crazier than this challenge we're doing right now? <laughs> you have to you have to do perfection to get all the hats. Because there's a hat you get exclusively for perfection. Am I wrong? And then that's, that's not even, like, factoring in every other hat and, like, the living hat and all that stuff. Like, I'm sure, like, there's ways to, like, route it or whatever, but it seems insane. All right, Jody, working hard. She's, you're making her do the dishes on her birthday, guys? What the heck? <laughs> oh, man, for shame. Maybe I spoiled the boys a bit. They never had to do any chores. I guess they want to be able to enjoy their childhood while they still can. Sam's basically a man now, though. I can't wait to get this dialogue when uh, Vincent's actually in the game, like, 40 years old, <laughs> and Sam is dead, as far, or he should be dead. Oh, he did half percent on 1.4. Okay, okay. That makes a that makes a big difference for sure. Being a parent isn't very easy. Well, hopefully a little pancake breakfast will make it a bit easier to stomach for you, Jody. Happy birthday! How are we doing for her? Nine hearts with Jody. Don't mind if I do. Might as well say hi to Sam while we're kicking around. Got to go visit Uncle Doctor today. Is that what you, is that what you call Harvey, Uncle Doctor? 
That's a very strange... It, it, is, is he talking about Harvey? What the heck? I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Uncle Doctor. Harvey is Sam's uncle confirmed? <laughs> That's so weird. I'm very... Everyone else is just... I'm glad to see that everyone else is just as confused as I am about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a weird thing to call Shawnee. You're telling me. Uncle Doctor. That's, that's what I'm going to call Harvey every time now. Is Harvey Jody's brother or something? I don't think so. I think I think Sam's just like a weird guy. You always call your doctor Uncle Doctor? Hey, teach their own. Uncle Grandpa? Isn't that a show on like a Cartoon Network or something? What do you got for me? A ghost for uh, M. Rasmodius? Is, is he going to Uncle Doctor? <laughs> oh my god, Uncle Doctor. Is Harvey in here? I feel like I could get a heart event if he is. He, oh, what the heck? Harvey looks busy right now. He should be preparing for his uh, visit with the uh, nephew patient. One sec, I gotta beat this level. <laughs> Is that what you're going to tell the doctor when he tries to call you in for your appointment, buddy? Making the doctor wait. Now, there's a turning of the tables if I ever heard it. Must be a placeholder that never got replaced. There are references to Carpenter, meaning Robin in the code. Interesting. It's one of those legacy uh, things that's... I mean, there's so much like code and dialogue that goes into this game, obviously, that... It's hard to expect uh, it all to stay up-to-date and relevant. Can I get one of the mods to do exclamation point add, please? Our garbage run is was it bore no fruit today, but uh, all the same. How do I have 67 hours of footage? That must be like 100 terabytes. I don't know how, how much... Uh, file space it takes up, but I have an external hard drive specifically for Price of Perfection footage right now. It's a big one, too, so it shouldn't run out anytime soon, but we'll we'll see. Thank you, Decay. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go check out the Cindersap Forest real quick. Just to see if there's, uh, if there's any growth happening as far as the trees go. I can also I can also pick up the uh, or chop down any trees that might have grown overnight here, which turns out to be uh, quite a few of them. <laughs> the cost of price the cost of perfection is a hard drive, so accurate. Oh my gosh, the fact that I had to buy well, I actually didn't buy it. I got it I got it for Christmas. I put it on my Christmas wish list for a uh, for a big a big external hard drive because I knew I was going to be planning this. I wanted to, or I knew I was going to be doing this, and I wanted to plan ahead. It's going to be, it's going to be a, quite the experience trying to edit all this together. You got that right, Blade. I feel like I'm going to, because like, anytime I go to like edit videos nowadays, there's a little behind the scenes action for you. Um, I have to, it's like... My computer's, like, old. <laughs> it's, like, it, it, I think it was, I built it in, like, 2017 or something. Uh, so it's, like, not, like, crazy, crazy old, but it's old enough. And, like, it's, like, some it does sometimes chug along in my editing program, especially if I'm doing, like, very intensive and, like, lots of, like, animation and stuff in, as far as, like, the editing goes. And I feel like for the Price of Perfection video, if I want to get it done in any realistic amount of time, I'm going to need, like, a whole freaking new setup for my computer. <laughs> I don't think how I have it right now is going to be very, very tenable. Do you write notes as you play just to keep track? I was actually planning on going through, um... On going through all the VODs up to up till this point, throughout uh, these two weeks that I have off right now from work. Just, just to you know, humble brag it in again. <laughs> I was planning to go through, back through the vods and do more like timestamps and stuff in the description. Because number one, that's good for like people who are watching the vods if they want to just like catch a certain thing or want to like skim through the vods and look for anything interesting. 
Uh, and number two, that is a good way to keep notes as well. But, uh, a kind fan actually reached out to me on Twitter and offered to, to help with some of that, so... Because I was, I was considering outsourcing it a little bit anyway, because it's a lot of footage to go through and, like, I need to realize that, like, a project this big, it probably is worthwhile to... to get some people to help me with the work. Would you consider hiring an editor? That's the thing, is I'm I'm such a little control freak that I, like, I don't know if I could. <laughs> this, this, especially for the price of perfection, at least. Maybe for, like, just, like, average videos, like, if I ever get into the habit of doing, like, more consistent uploads, like, like, weekly or monthly uploads or whatever, I could get, uh, I could get someone to help me out with those. But the price of perfection, whatever, whatever this ends up being edited into, this one's my baby. I've grown too attached to it. To let someone to to give the, that responsibility to someone else, I need I need creative control on this one. I need it at the at the worst of the times, and I need to be in full control of uh, what my content looks like and how it acts. Because it's it, it is at the end of the day, it's a representation of me to an extent. Like I put so much of myself into that no level up challenge, and that's like. I love that. It's, that was that was my first baby. That was we, we got a second child in a second bun in the oven right here. You're watching it happen. Bit of a weird metaphor, but let's not uh, focus too hard on it. <laughs> How long do I think the final video is going to be? I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. Well, that's the thing. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily longer than the than the no level up challenge. I have to imagine it will be. Because when I do make it, I want to make it accessible to as many people as possible. And that's going to entail a lot of explanation of things that, like, Stardew Valley pros and people who, like, watch the streams and stuff are going to already know. Because it's, 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 I'm going to need to cater to people who are just, like, seeing it and, like, oh, I played Stardew Valley one time before. Let me see uh, what this video is all about. It looks like it's kind of kind of interesting. And I'm going to have to, like... <laughs> I'm gonna have to give them like a little Stardew Valley 101, send them to Blaze Stardew University, but in my own special style. And I have to do that while like maintaining like a consistent story for the video, like a good through line. I have to do that while uh while keeping everything like like all the visuals and stuff flashy and making sure everyone's it's keep it there's a lot that goes into it. Like good lord, when I go to when I go to write the script for this thing, I can't even imagine. I don't even know where I'm gonna start. I feel you, Blade. I feel you on that real real hard. But I do love it too. I love just like explaining things and making like uh, and I love the the process of editing things to explain it. That's why I'm a huge fan of um of Pan and Coic, Pan and Coic 2012. I think it's 2012, right? If if, was, if anyone's not familiar with him, he does a lot of uh, Super Mario 64 stuff. He's sort of like uh, like one of the big brains behind the Super Mario 64 minimum A press challenge, and the stuff that goes into that is crazy. And if you've ever seen his videos, there's like a lot of uh, a lot of similar like ex explanation segments, and he does it really well. Yeah, Pan and Coke is 10 out of 10. Agreed, and that's sort of like that's definitely one of my inspirations. It's just fun. I, it's the kind of videos I like to watch, and it's the kind of videos I like to make to an extent. Quick little check in with the hat mouse. Ooh. Our, our inventory's full anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. We can check. It's it's not a problem. Little chicken mask, little sailor's cap. All right. Ugh. Let's start making our way back up to towards the farm here. A lot of blackberries. Don't mind if I do. Yo, it's trees that aren't pine trees? I didn't know those existed in this game. Hatmouse should have a sale. Maybe if we work hard enough, um, and we put enough dedication into into this challenge, eventually Hatmouse will just like be like, Me see you hard work, okay, poke. 
send you send me send you gift to help things along. Woo! And we'll get like a lucky bow in the mail. It could happen. Don't tell me it's not in the code. Because I, I want to believe. You guys want to know the secret way to save uh to save 10 million gold in the price of perfection? Um you can make your own you can build your own golden clock. All you need is 40,000 gold bars. But the cruel irony is that you can only hold 36,000 gold bars in your inventory at a time. So uh, no one's ever going to be able to make it. That's a true fact. That's a true Sardi Valley fact you just learned right now. And don't tell me you can, like, get a crafting table and, like, put your things in the... Like, a crafting bench and put your things in a chest next to it, and then you can get more than 40,000 gold bars or whatever. That doesn't work, because you need to... You need to bring them to the wizard specifically. And then he'll be like, oh, you brought me all the resources I need. Now I don't have to, like, go buy them myself with the 10 million gold. Thank you. It's not an actual crafting thing. It's, like, a, it's a thing, you know? It just... You wouldn't understand. Anyway, <laughs> enough memeing around, enough memeing around. Little pickle jar rag to send us off. Here we go. Traveling cart day, baby. Don't show me another cactus fruit. The amount of cactus fruit I've seen from this woman is actually mind-boggling. Blade, you're still here, right? Uh, yeah, you are. I mean, I, I don't know if, unless you left in the past, like, 30 seconds, but, like, is there... Do you know offhand if there's a higher chance for the traveling cart to sell cactus fruit compared to, like, her usual goods? Because we've seen it, like, five or six times now, and it's annoying me. <laughs> Not, like, really annoying me, but it's, like, just it's just funny that it's happened that many times. Like, I can't imagine there would be heightened odds, but, like... Oh, this is ready to harvest. Okay. Hold on. Everyone hold the phone. We got a, we got a seed maker. Timby, but I love you, buddy. But uh, <laughs> clear out of the way, please. All right. Don't do me dirty. Amaranth seed. Okay, we're good there. And we got two. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so I should grow... I should grow both of these... Because we don't need the amaranth seed itself for anything. We just need multiple amaranths. So we should just plant that. And let's get a little more uh, deluxe speed grow. Because why not? Put that there. Put that there. And water. Taunting you with the thing we all want the most. <laughs> it's so true. And not giving us anything that we actually need. Like, it's, it's been a pretty good while since we've gotten any, like, animal products, right? From the traveling cart. What was the last thing we got? It was, like, a one of the large eggs, I think. I don't know why you'd need that many gold bars to craft it. You only need 4,000 to get a million gold. So 2667 to if, and if you have the blacksmith profession. Touche. But uh, the wizard works in mysterious ways. Have you ever thought about that? Ever thought about that, Calvin? I kid, I kid. It's all in good fun. <laughs> Still waiting on the 600 gold rare seed. That's very true. I think we've had an 800 gold rare seed. I think that's the, that's the only, like, off off-price rare seed that we've seen, because normally it's just, like, there for a thousand, right? We have had at least one, I'm pretty sure. It might have even been last stream where we had it at that price. Bada-boom. Thank you, uh, Aditya. Having a great... Saying, saying hi, streamer, have a great stream. You have a great, uh, life. Thank you for, uh, for tuning in. This is too many kegs. <laughs> That's how it feels right now, but once we get to our next, uh, hop harvest, then we won't be saying that as much. 
Cactus fruit is a higher chance. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Still not, like, much, because, like, it's still, like, kind of rude. But knowing at least that it is, like, legitimately a higher chance from the traveling cart makes me feel just a, the teeniest bit better, you know? How's this all going down here? Got some pumpkins on the rise. <laughs> nice shoes. Are those made out of plastic? That's such a funny quote to me. What shoes are made out of plastic? I, I mean, I guess, like, it depends. Because like, whenever I think I hear that quote, I think, like, hard plastic, the kind of stuff that, like, a McDonald's play place is made out of. But that's not the kind of plastic she'd be talking about. It is still just a funny visual, though. All right, traveling cart time, baby. Let's do this. Crocs? Yeah, Crocs are, like, probably more accurate as far as, like, a plastic shoe. But aren't Cro are, are Crocs rubber, or are they plastic? Jelly sandals. Ooh, cheap gym shoes, flip-flops. Fair enough, yeah. Sneakers? Like, there's definitely elements of plastic to, like, many different kinds of shoes. All right, what do we got here? Tulip crab... Starfruit seed, amaranth, you're rude. Seafoam pudding, little model ship. Yeah, can I sail away to a place where uh, cactus fruit is abundant and in full and in season all year round? It's called Ginger Island. All right, I've already given two gifts to Krobus this week, I'm pretty sure. Let's double check, make sure we're Doing our due diligence there, yeah. Nine hearts with Krobus. We have more hearts with Krobus than with Haley. I didn't even realize we passed that threshold, but there it is. It might be closer than you think, though, because I think, like, with these eight heart, uh, like, with bachelors and bachelorettes and everything, I think you can get up to, like, one point, one friendship point shy of nine hearts, but it doesn't actually, like, show on the screen, obviously. And then that's where it caps off. I remember reading that at some point. Yo, Blade, I'm jealous. Clicking render, it's a good feeling. Uh, is There's no... There is there is honestly no feeling greater. If you've never, like, edited a video or made anything like that, it's hard to describe. Just the sheer, like, relief and, like, satisfaction you feel when you've been working on a project for days, weeks, months, years, whatever it is. You finally hit that, like, export or render button. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing quite compares. A cave carrot for Pierre. Pierre will be pleased. Or we we, de we we still need some friendship with Pierre. Okay, we can make that happen. Uh, Abigail's birthday tomorrow. Looking forward to whatever your uh, next video is, by the way, Blade. Excited, excited. All right, quickly pray at the altar of the cactus. Sing it a little tune. Play it on our mini harp. Here we go, here we go. Do I have an estimated price of perfection? I do. If you check the uh, our checklist in the description, there's like a link to like the checklist that I use to like check off things as we complete them. At the very bottom of that, there's like a total price for all the things that I think I need. For, for perfection, that's a... <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked to pray at the at the altar of the gar of the cactus for like garbage luck I guess it's a little extra garbage hat in my life how many of these are we gonna get before uh <laughs> before a cactus fruit though yikes I have another marrying Haley spring 18th oh that's the one I've been looking forward to blade <laughs> I'm very curious to see how that all pans out Sacrifice it. Just put the garbage hat in the garbage can. Now we got to start a collection. You know it. Thank you, Decay. That is funny. Well, there you go. Another guard. We're just. I I I I wait. I await the day that we have a chest full of garbage can hats before we get a single cactus fruit. I don't necessarily want to jinx it, but you know what? It's too late now. I already have, so.
All right, let's do more uh, deforestation. You might think this is like, uh, this is an anti-environment stream with how much we're chopping down trees. But just bear in mind, we've got so many pine cones from these trees, and we'll replant all of them someday, because we're going to need all the wood we can get. Don't you worry about it. This game looks familiar. What game is this? Uh, this is... Actually, that might be a default Nightbot command, exclamation point game. <laughs> I don't know if I disabled that one or not, but this is Stardew Valley. I'm pretty sure it is a default Nightbot command, but I just, I don't think I, like, I don't play enough different games so far on the stream that I, that I feel the need. Unfortunately, YouTube does not support the retrieval setting of the stream game at this time. Never mind, Nightbot just is not, uh, not built for YouTube, I guess. Rip. Do I have any more trees waiting down here? I do, I do. Look, I do honestly, like... Alright, chat, what's your favorite tree? Dis discounting, like, all, like, the resources and stuff you can get from trees in, uh, in Stardew Valley, of the different kinds of trees that exist in Stardew Valley, which one aesthetically is the best? I was of the opinion I really like these pine trees. I think they they look really cool. But I've been chopping so freaking many of them, I just get sick. I'm getting sick of it, to be honest with you. I could, I'd, I would die to see, like, an oak tree right now. I guess I can, like, once once my whole little forest south of the farm, or in the southern part of the farm, is chopped down, I can start planting some whatever seeds I want down there. Pine. Cherry? Oh, cherry. I mean, I didn't even consider the fruit trees, to be honest with you. Apricot? Don't. Don't. <laughs> we didn't check for apricot today. That's a good call out, actually. The willow tree from RuneScape, those are iconic. Get yourself level 30 woodcutting. Go chop them on the shores of Draenor Village. It's a good time. Tim Beeb's trying to seed maker himself. Don't do it, Tim Beeb. You have so much left to live for. Although if we'd if we'd seed maker Tim Beeb and got multiple Tim Beeb seeds and had like a bunch of Tim Beebs running around, I don't know if anyone would be complaining. Chloe might be complaining when she's like running around and uh and trying to get to the get to her bed at 1 a.m. and there's eight Tim Beebs in her way. That might not be the the most ideal thing. Oh, I didn't realize you could like go I thought this was like cut off here. Okay, there's a little secret path down there. Nice. Oop. Okay. Uh I guess that's good for chopping right now. Go ahead and wait and get this. We can plant these seeds as well. <laughs> Tim Tim Beeb and the Tim Beebets. Ooh, pale ale. Finishing up. Don't mind if I do. Wasn't there a quest? I think we canceled that quest, didn't we, to give Pam pale ale? Because we didn't want to perpetuate her habit. That's right, I remember now. Chop them down, core tim timber. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, uh, put more of these in. It's a very existential quote you got there, Haley. What's happening to me? I don't know. I don't know the context of that quote. <laughs> that's that's kind of freaking me out. Bro, 75 pale ale. We're going to be rolling. Let's go see how much money we made. No need to stay up any further, I don't think. We get our garbage. We got our traveling cart. We uh, chop trees for a little while. Let's call it. Tomorrow is Abigail's birthday. That's It is tomorrow, right? Not today. I'm pretty sure. Either way, it's not going to matter right now. So, Haley's struggling. <laughs> oh my god. 
31,500 from Pale Ales. Man. All right, we're, we're not going to have any problems getting to... We might we might not have any problems getting to the million gold at this rate. Might not need level 10 foraging after all. How much are we at? Uh, 433,000? Hey, excuse me. Oh, gosh. I, maybe the mod took a second to, to load in, because I, I swear that did not... That said, like, our actual, like... I don't know. It was weird for a second, but... We're all good. Have a good night, Maverick. Thanks for tuning in. Sleep well. Out of curiosity, could you put the garbage can on garbage can hat on a sign like the prismatic shard? I don't know if you can, but I'll give it a try. Let's give it a whirl here. Then we can display all our garbage can hats prominently. You totally can. <laughs> I want to leave the prismatic shard on this sign specifically, but that's something worth considering for the future. Definitely. You know, I'll put the garbage can hat in here. It's more special than that. It deserves a place of, of worship. A little ancient fruit as well. A few more for the greenhouse. And let's water. Uh, this is not where these go. Sometimes the mod doesn't show up when you open the menu at 6 a.m. I think I actually also noticed that too, uh, too, Jeff, like at the end of last stream. Like when I was paused at the very, like, at the very, uh, start of the day at the end of last stream, I think it, like, freaked out for a second, but it's fine. It's a very rare situation. Whoa, wait, Greg, he scared off two crows? What about you? Scared off four crows? Oh, man. Didn't she get put down, like, like after that one? Oh, man, the crows are just fiending after those amaranth, I tell you what. I forgot you could talk to the, to the scarecrows and get that information. I wonder how our uh, how the rare crows around our coffee crop did. I need to okay, <laughs> Tim Beep. I, I understand that you have your lovely grass field that you play in, but it's kind of infringing on us here a little bit. Let's let's go ahead and just sort that out. There you go. We'll still leave them a little a little patch to play. Right there. Well, let's just go ahead and clear the path at least to the gate here. And he's got plenty of room to play down there. That's good. What about you? How many how many crows have you scared off? Haven't encountered any crows yet? Do better. I can't say that. That's the OG Greg. Can't just be disrespecting them like that. I'm sorry, Greg. All right. Yo, I just had a bit of an existential crisis for a second. It's a weird one, but bear with me for a second here. These ancient seeds, right? We put ancient fruit in the seed makers. How would you ever know if these ancient fruit are from the seed makers doing their job properly, or if it's the very slim chance, like the 0 0.5 or whatever, that you got the ancient seeds from just like any crop? You would never know. And it kind of hurts my brain to think about it. <laughs> are the are these are these true ancient seeds or are they they lucky ancient seeds? That's a that's a concept for like a Vsauce video or something. Alright, little blueberry action. We actually got a decent amount of money from these blueberries last time we sold them, so I ain't even mad. I've changed a lot over the years, but I still prefer sunny weather. That's our Haley. Chat, what's your favorite weather? Mine is probably like overcast. I've gone into it before. I like overcast. I like fog, rain. I'm definitely that kind of guy. If it's sunny, but like not too hot, I can definitely also handle that. It's when it gets up to like, like 25, 30 degrees uh, Celsius or, ho or hotter that I start to have a little bit of a problem.
Doesn't it give the artifact the seed maker? I think it just gives the ancient seeds straight up, doesn't it? If you get that one like a little random chance. If it is if it is the artifact, then like never mind. Crisis averted. All right, make sure not to put in a blueberry in here on accident. It's not what we're about. There we go. So this chest is still empty, but we'll we'll leave it in case we need a uh, extra storage space. Okay. Uh, go ahead and pop this down. Let's see, warm with a cool wind. That's a good one. Snowing. I've never heard anyone say that snowing is their favorite weather, but I guess if you live in a spot where, like, snow is not that bad or you don't get it that often and it's kind of like a rare special occasion, I could see that. It does give a seed packet. Oh, no. <laughs> We got a nice variety of weathers in in chat though. I see I seen some rains. I seen I think I saw someone say say like sunny weather. The new Pokemon starters. I am definitely a uh, I'm usually a big fan of the grass starters, and I still do like the grass starter. I forget what it's called. The little grass cat for, from the uh, most recent Pokemon announcement today. If you're not caught up on it, it's like what Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, very excited for for that eventuality. But I think of the three, I mean, come on. You can't tell me that you didn't immediately fall in love the moment you saw Quaxley. And then the see and then the fact that his name is Quaxley. His name is Quaxley, right? I'm not getting that wrong. <laughs> it's so good. He's it's literally just like Donald Duck, but a Pokemon, and I love it. I love everything about it. Um what I feel like I'm Forgetting something. Abigail's birthday. Abigail's birthday. I don't know if that's what I was forgetting, but we got it. Fire starter is the best. Honestly, I'm a big fan of all the starters this time around. Usually there's like one that jumps out at me. Like, I mean, I guess there is one that jumps out at me the most. Quaxley, for sure. But, um, but usually like the other two, I'm kind of like almost lukewarm on. This time it's like they're all kind of like cool. You love to see it. Don't forget to hydrate. I will, Nightbot. Give me one second. I gotta, I gotta do my garbage run for the day. Lest we forget. Look at all this. Oh man, the kids are going up to the playground. I forgot that they got to do this. They're always so nice to me, Miss Chloe. Why would I not be? Yeah, your farmhouse must be pretty easy to clean, huh? I mean, it's like big. I have to imagine it get pretty dusty. How you doing there, Louis? Oh, you know what? I also need to... What is this? Bring Pierre a cave carrot. Someone was mentioning that in the in the chat. I didn't see your name. I'm sorry. Cave care for Pierre. Ah, I don't know if you were the one like saying it because I think someone mentioned it before, but uh, I just, I did just remember that. So let's go ahead and grab that because we're going to need to swing by there anyway for Abigail. Ducklet got upgraded to a starter. Kind of true. The fast turnaround scares you, but you're cautiously optimistic. I'm kind of in the same boat, honestly. It feels like like when I re when I heard that there was like a new generation of Pokemon announced, I was like like it's been a while since Sword and Shield, so sure, but it hasn't been that long since like Legends Arceus or like Brilliant Diamond and stuff. And I guess maybe they just have like a like a faster production turnaround than they used to or something, but. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I am also cautiously optimistic as I am about most things in life. Imagine ancient fruit is one of those things that doesn't really taste good, but it's super valued because no one, like, no one has ancient fruit. Probably. It's also probably one of those things that, like, you don't eat, like, raw most of the time, but when you turn it into wine, all of a sudden it's, like, the bee's knees. It's the cat's pajamas. It's the dog's meow. Alright, here you go, buddy. There you go. That might be Pierre at 10 hearts. Oop, that's a map. Pierre. Not quite. That's fine. We'll talk to him at least while we're here. Happy to buy whatever you produce on the farm. Yes, I do resell it for profit, but that's the benefit of being an established shop owner. You piece of trash. 
<laughs> don't get any ideas. It's fine. At least he didn't wasn't trying to sell me seeds for the first time in forever. Where is Abigail hanging everyone on a Saturday in fall? Not in here, but quick little music break. That's a good song. Bees have weak knees. I don't think bees actually have knees, do they? Not in like the... What the heck is Shane doing here? I feel like I've never seen him in this shop in my life. Alright then. Uh, we'll go and find Abigail once we finish our garbage run for the day. She might be up at the bus stop. Abigail's up at the bus stop? Yeah, that's, that was where I was thinking, so we've seen her there a few times recently. Does she come to the library ever? Uh, not today at least. The bees have boogie knees. I don't even know how to interpret that. Or that have boogie knees. No cactus fruit luck today. And a single frozen tear rolls down my cheek. There she is. Don't give her the trash by mistake. I know Charlie would probably like that, but uh, <laughs> we're about making friends here. Make friends, not enemies. Bees knees refers to pollen sacks, really? I did not know that. I'm not an... Yeah. Ape, ape, apiar, apiarist? Ape, a beekeeper? <laughs> As a normal person might say. I'm not in... I'm not a... Uh, I don't have a proclivity towards apiculture. That's my writerly side coming out. All right, let's go chop wood. It does take forever to level up foraging. I'm not going to dispute that. But I feel like we've been chopping a lot of trees, and we must be nearing, I'm going to say, at least halfway between level 9 and level 10. But I don't know for certain. I'm I'm not gonna check the the level up screen anymore. I would like it to be a surprise. I'm all I'm all about those surprises around here. Eluka's having a startling revelation about bees' knees. <laughs> what technically counts as a knee? I don't know what the what the medical definition of knee is, nor do I know what like the Merriam-Webster definition of knee is. The joint between the tibia and the femur. Well, I, I can definitely tell you with 100% authority a bee does not have a femur or a tibia, so I'm pretty sure we're safe in that regard. Takes over 400 to get from level 9 to level 10, you, and you only planted 200. But what about the ones in the cinder sap forest? And what about the the wild seeds? Not going to make up the difference. Not, that, not this soon anyway. It's not going to make up the difference, but it's going to help. Every little bit helps. When are you just going to sleep and check garbage cans? We're getting to that point pretty quick here. I want to have the peace of mind of making it to level 10 foraging so that we have all our levels maxed out for Grandpa's evaluation. But after that, I think we're pretty much going to be at the point where we can just, like, sleep, uh, do our, like, hot, like, do a greenhouse run, do a garbage run, check the traveling cart if we need to, do, like, a birthday, potentially. And then, uh, and then sleep, more or less. We're gonna, we're gonna start going to bed a whole lot, uh, more often in the near future. I'll tell you that right now. Because I think we're, we have the groundwork set up now to make the money that we need for Grandpa's evaluation. It's just a matter of time. And then once we hit Grandpa's evaluation and get our Statue of Perfection, we're gonna have lots of Iridium Ore. And then that'll help us, like, get more Crystallariums and stuff. And just have, having a, a, a source of Iridium... That is not the Super Cucumber Pond. It is just going to be very, very nice. Something a lot more reliable than that. Then we can mix up what uh, fish we have in the fish pond. And it's going to be... That's going to be a fun time. So we'll do a little bit more like maintenance of that kind at the start of year three. But if we still don't have the cactus fruit by that point, then... Uh, it'll probably be even more sleeping. 
We're in the sleepy t sleepy time arc of the stream, just about. Have I had any cactus fruits this run? Uh, none for free. Which is what we're really gunning for. What really might does kind of like stick in my craw potentially is that is the idea that maybe just maybe we bought the vault bundle like too late. Like what if like we had bought the vault bundle as early as we possibly could? Because that's what triggers cactus fruit to be able to show up in garbage cans is buying all the vault bundles. And what if we had bought it like a little bit earlier? Who knows? Who knows what might have been? We could have gotten cactus fruit year one for all I know, but uh, I don't know if I ha if I can retro retroactively even check that. Blade, if you're still kicking around, uh, that is something that I might be curious about. Actually, if there was a cactus fruit before winter first, I think of the of the of year one, that is something I'm okay knowing. I think I think I could rest easy knowing that if there was such a thing, but I don't know if Blade's still here anyway, so <laughs> But as for when we get our next cactus fruit, when the when the live cactus fruit comes to play, that is something we're still gonna stay in the dark about for now. No bathrooms in Stardew Valley. So true. And we talked about that last stream. Can you seed maker cactus roots for cactus seeds? That is the plan, yes. Because we will need uh, many a cactus fruit for our, for our needs. At least 10. Well, more than 10, I think, because we need to like ship at least one, too. Also depends how fast you reach level 40, 80, 120 of the mines. That does also change the uh, the garbage cans. You are correct about that, Jeff. Imagine not being able to. Can you make oh, if you couldn't make uh, like cactus seeds out of cactus fruit. That was an initial concern of mine as as well. That if we weren't able to like if the like for whatever reason the seed maker didn't work with cactus fruits, but it def it a hundred percent does. We know that for a fact. Because if not, if we if it didn't, you could still do this. You could still do this strategy of like getting the desert obelisk with ten cactus fruit, but you'd need to get all ten of those cactus fruit from garbage cans, which would be like a nightmare that I don't even want to fathom, <laughs> quite frankly. All right, we'll let those run, and then we'll plant them in the morning. All right. Off to bed we go. Ooh. Achievement. <laughs> what the heck? I just got a Steam achievement? I've never done that before. Achievement unlocked monoculture. Is that shipping, like, 300 of a certain crop? Must be the blueberries. Look at that. Little, little monoculture in my life. Where is this? Uh, monoculture. Ship 300 or one crop. Yep. There you go. GG, everybody. That's the challenge done. Just kidding. But what if? Alright, Poppy is grown. Um, what else should I grow in that garden pot? I could, like, set up more garden pots. That is a thing. That is potentially helpful. A little blackberry cobbler as well. That sounds delicious. What caused the only reset to happen? We upgraded our axe to a steel axe, and then we discovered that we didn't need to do that. And so we reverted the day to change that. Alright, let me take a quick moment to hydrate here.
Also, Argon, wouldn't lowering the profit margin lower the price of perfection? The seeds you buy from Pierre would cost less. Is that true? Is that a true statement? I thought the profit margin only changed what you got in return for selling things. I thought the I thought the prices of things still stayed the same. If so, I mean that's technically yeah. <laughs> I have to look more into that to know for sure, but there's um hmm. You put you put an idea in my head there, Francis. Didn't you reset for the submarine? I did not. I managed to get it at the last possible second. <laughs> Either way, let's keep it rolling here. Uh, drink some espresso. They are cheaper. Hmm. What's all this about profit margins? I believe it's an option you can set... I don't know if it's specifically to specific to like multiplayer games. Like I could set up like a multiplayer game and then just like play it single player or whatever. My cat is meowing by the way. She's upset. She's like, it's, it's time for bed, you nerd. But it's supposed to, it makes it like harder. You're pretty sure profit margins don't change that? Yeah, I don't know Chaos Stripe. I've I've never I've never actually looked into uh to the profit margins too much because I just I assumed I knew what they did, but maybe I don't. It's an option for, for single player too. Hmm. Could this be another copper axe bruh moment? <laughs> I don't know. We'll look into it. Scared off 15 crows. Which of these has the highest do you think? 12 crows? 15 crows from the raccoon? Can you do better Mr. Magic Man? Eight crows? Ooh. Know what the crows don't like that corner. A little tie between those guys though. Profit margin only affects the sell price. Just started a single player 50% run, the seeds are cheaper. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Oh no. Is this gonna be more more sleepless nights for me? I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, you guys. If the profit margin is a thing, that that could be a huge a huge swing factor. I don't know if it's a if it's like a full run reset factor or if we're just going to keep like I feel like at this point we're we're deep in it. We're so entrenched in the lore of the price of perfection that we can't possibly reset unless barring like an exceptional an exceptional new discovery, but that might be the exceptional new discovery right there. I don't know. Either way, we're just going to keep going for now and I'll I'll look into it in between streams just so I know for my own peace of mind whether it's a whether whether it's a factor. But, at the very least, we'll have the price of perfection for, like, a regular profit margin. And then you can, you could probably literally just do the math to, like, like, I mean, you could, because, like, we'll be able to figure out all, like, the isolated things you need to buy for perfection anyway. And then from there, like, anyone who wanted to figure it out for other profit margins could just do, like, the math. It's not really that big of a deal. Either way. Little fire quartz. Don't mind if I do. Uh, traveling cart today. Oh, and corn. Beautiful. I feel like... You no, know, it was Abigail's birthday yesterday. But whose birthday is coming up next, though? Alright, um... Let's just sell the corn. That's fine. I thought this was an orange cat sleeping here for a second, because I'm, I'm used to seeing that on Lazy Farm. So we have, like, an orange cat over on that farm. And it kind of curls up and sleeps like that sometimes, and it, it had me confused for a second. Yeah, we're definitely not abandoning this run. This is... We're too, uh... 
I think everyone, including myself, is too invested at this point to even consider that right now. I think we at least got to finish out this run, mistakes and all. All right. Egg. Brown egg. 150 gold. This seems like a thing. Hold on. Checklist. Egg brown. 150 gold. Because the eggs you get... Okay, so this is a thing that I needed to... That I probably should have looked more into before this exact moment. But I believe the eggs you get from Marnie are exclusively white small eggs. I don't think she has a chance to give you, like, brown eggs like this. So I believe we have to buy this egg at this price. Egg. Yes, egg. <laughs> Completely derailed the conversation about profit margins as nonsense with a single egg. Yeah, I, be I believe that the, that the eggs you get from Marnie are only white eggs. So this brown egg, which we need to ship specifically, is a required purchase. So let's get her done. One second, let me get back into the game. Hit me with it, traveling merchant. I, I, I've got just what you need. Basic fertilizer. How much are you charging for basic fertilizer, lady? 1,000 gold for a single piece of basic fertilizer. Are you kidding me? I'll take the egg. Peace out. Marnie gave you a, smuzzin, a dozen small white eggs for the Winter Star. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is just, it's, it's only white eggs. Okay. It seems like everyone's in consensus there. Good to know, good to know. Marnie, white eggs from Marnie both times you've gotten them. Lisa, I'm so jealous. Can you, can you, can you FedEx some of those eggs over to, to Chloe here? All right. Let's go ahead and mark this cost off of our list. The brown egg for 150. Boom. Another traveling cart piece taken care of. Another piece of that traveling cart pie. All right. And let's go ahead and edit the description as well. So plus 150 is going to be 111,430. Is that correct? Well, I, I can actually confirm whether it's correct because I can actually check in game what our what our new price of perfection is here. Hold on, hold on. That's a thing I can do courtesy of our uh, of our new fancy mod. Four hundred thirty. There you go. You love to see it. This single beautiful regular brown chicken egg. Pretty sure we only need, need it for shipping, but I am going to, just like all the other things so far, we're just going to hold on to it in our special chest. Do I have a fairy rose yet? I did gr manage to grow a fairy rose, and then uh, the seed maker spat a single seed back in my face and said, try again, nerd. And then we cried for a little bit, and we planted it again, so we're going to try and get another one. You've gotten Marnie four times out of your ten years on your perfection save? Aluka, oh my gosh, if only we could have that kind of luck. I'll get so much money. Uh, it's been pale ale and coffee for the most part. Been our main, uh, main sources. In recent times. I'd like to put an aquamarine on my great-grandfather's tombstone. Sure thing, Jody. I got you. All right, yeah, no birthdays until Marnie on the 18th. But the Stardew Valley Fairy is impending. I should get that uh, Iridium Quality Chub. Let's do that today. Just so I'm not thinking about it any further. Don't worry about it, Penny. Don't worry. Don't you dare worry about me. I'll be fine as long as I get a cactus fruit from Jojomart today. And there it is. Joja Cola. Cactus fruit flavor. <laughs> I should have been more specific. A single a finger curls on the monkey's paw. You're gonna call it a night? Have a good one, Karita. Thank you for tuning in. All right, uh, I almost sold the egg, which you might think would be a big mistake, but it's actually like the only thing we need it for, I'm pretty sure, so. But we'll hold on to it for now. Look, we got two eggs. So rare, so rare. 
the rarest sight you're ever gonna see in the price of perfection. Two eggs side by side like that. We did not get cactus fruit, no. We only got the, the exclusive cactus fruit flavored Joja Cola brand. Available only to the frugalist of farmers. Alright, let's go to the mountain lake, get ourselves a chub here. Been a while since we've done any fishing to begin with, so it'll be kind of a nice change of pace. That is something else we'll get to do at the start of next year in uh, year three. We'll get to do more legend fishing with our buddy. Let's go. Let's go say hi to the the guardian of the lake. Mtugoof. I think it's been a while since we've been up to the mountain lake. Period. How are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Artificial cactus flavor. What is that, uh, isn't there something like cactus dip? Is that a thing? I feel like I really like that stuff. I don't know if it's made of, like, any parts of an actual cactus, or if it's just called cactus dip for some other reason. Alright, I need to be careful here, because if I want the iridium quality chub, I actually need to, like, get a perfect catch. This will not do, this stinky gold quality chub. Get out of my face. I should do Emily's trash can first tomorrow. I'm trusting you, Chaos Stripe. Alright, we got some bubbles over there as well. Although those might be a little too close to the shoreline. I don't know if we... Well, never mind, I guess. <laughs> they heard me dissing them and like, we're peacing out. Prickly pear salsa. Ooh. How close are you to forging 10? I do not know. I like to think I'm a decent ways of the way there, but realistically, like uh, like I think Jeff, Jeff was saying earlier, we only planted 200 trees. We haven't even chopped all those down yet. And we need like 400 plus to get to forging level 10, so it's probably still going to be a while. Oh, if only I had my copper pan on me. Get some free iridium or something here. What's the biggest struggle going to be besides cactus fruit? Uh, skull caverns, probably. Because we need to get five specific types of seed from the, uh, from the treasure rooms. And each of them has a 1 in 702 chance of being found in a treasure room. So we're going to be grinding skull caverns for probably a little while. I would have to guess. Beyond that, there's always, uh, Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star. There's never a guarantee of getting that, obviously. Ginger Island is going to be its own beast. There's plenty to look forward to after the cactus fruit grind. Don't you worry. This is only the tip of the iceberg. By, by the end of this challenge, you're going to be able to make one of those freaking hot button, like like the hottest trend on YouTube. The iceberg videos, y'all have to see any of those? Wallagug made some, I think. Or made at least one for, for Stardew Valley. I can see why the format has gotten so popular. I've watched, like, a few of the Iceberg videos on various topics myself. And there's, like... It's a, it's a good way to format, like, a, like a video. And it's just it's just interesting, you know? An interesting way to, to learn information about certain, like, topics you might not otherwise normally think about too much. All condensed in a nice, neat little package by a YouTuber with a sultry voice. Frugal Farm Iceberg, yup. The lore is gonna be just that deep. I can already, f I can already feel it. What would I do if I got a cactus fruit and the seed maker gave me mixed seeds? I would probably, uh, I would probably mute myself so that I don't uh, break the PG thirteen language side of the stream, and then I would reset the day. Hey, 
because thankfully resetting the day is within the bounds of the challenge. How far have I gotten through the mines? We have gotten to the bottom of the mines. Please don't be a chub. I messed up. I, okay, we're good. I just want that iridium quality chub, man. What a weird thing to be fishing for, I know, but... There's a there's an important purpose, I promise. You have school in three hours and you're just becoming tired? I've been there. Sometimes at that point it's better to just like stay up and then power through. And then like once you get home from school, just crash. I wouldn't recommend making a habit out of it. I've done that before and like usually usually on a day like that where you like pull an all-nighter before school or something. The next day at school, I don't remember like or if I, whenever I did that, I would not remember a single thing that happened that day at school. I would be like dead. I would just be going through the motions. Can you not use iridium other kinds of fish? Maybe, but the video I saw said specifically nine iridium quality chub for our Sardi Valley Fair Grange display. And I feel like it would be just like admitting defeat if we stuck to the eight that we already had in a chest at home and then stuffed like a random iridium quality carp or something in the middle. I feel like there's a... Uh, I feel like that would just be... Like, Mayor Lewis would see that. And he'd be like, Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought that was a carp. I thought Mayor Lewis would see that would, would see that, and he'd be like, You know what? This would have been the best display I've ever seen, but you didn't... Uh, you didn't get all nine spots filled with chubs. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. And Mayor Lewis yeets us like, uh, like he's got that NPC fighting mod installed. That was in Charlie's, Charlie Barley's stream recently. Is there a special reward for Iridium Fish? I just, this is for my own personal curiosity. It has been told to me through a video that I watched that this strategy does work. And I'm nothing if not, uh if not scientifically inclined. So we're testing it for ourselves. It's kind of on brand, too. It's like the chub, it matches our outfit quite nicely. I could throw, like, a, like nine trash bags in the, in the Grange display or something. And that would be probably also very on brand, but... <laughs> chub get, hell yeah. Oh my gosh, so much hype! It's a chub! It's an iridium-quality chub! Maybe not the most bombastic of, uh, of reactions, but, I mean, come on, it's a chub. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's, it's only, it's gonna, it's gonna serve a very specific role. Alright, nine iridium quality chubs, there you go. And then I think we call it a day. Call it a stardew day. I went to the traveling cart today, didn't I? I got the- I bought the egg, that's right, yeah. I was gonna say. I def- I definitely- <laughs> For some reason I just like blanked on that, but we bought an egg today, so we're fine. We're good. Unless that was Friday. No, Friday was a, as a ship. I made a funny joke about it that wasn't really that funny or a joke. It was just more of a statement that was kind of weird in the moment, and people were probably like, what the heck is this guy talking about? But you know what, that's like 80% of the streams anyway, so... Let's let it ride. Is that the Chub of 2022? Is that a Markiplier reference? I understood that reference. Make all those fish into quality fertilizer. That's what we got the crab pots going for. Alright, I think I saw someone mention in chat earlier that uh, the 15th is Sandy's birthday. So, let's drink one down for Sandy. Can I get some birthday cake? Because we can't visit Sandy because she's out in the desert. Without our cactus fruit, we are unfortunately unable to do that. So let's get some birthday cake emojis in the uh, in chat for Sandy. 
It's the best we can do, unfortunately. <laughs> Sending them to her in spirit. Do we have Sandy, like, in our list here? I think she is in, like, in our friendship list. There she is. Send her your best birthday cakes. Or flowers. She also likes flowers. How old do I think of Chloe as being? Um, I've never really put too much thought into, like, how old, uh, how old Chloe would be. Probably, like, in her 20s, I would guess. That's probably, like, the one part of my personality, or I guess, like, age is not part of your personality, but the one part of my identity that I would transcribe to Chloe, just because it's easier for me to think in that, uh, in that mind space. I did get a comment on the no level up video. I don't even, I think, feel like I might have talked about this already, so sorry if I have, but it was still just, it's always stuck in my mind since then. It was like, uh, why, <laughs> why do you play, why did you play as a, uh, as like a, like a female, like, like, uh, <laughs> why do you play as like a, a girl with, uh, with darker skin when you are neither of those things? And I'm like, man. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to have fun. Look, I'm not saying that you need to like embody an entirely different person whenever you play like a game. It's the way I like to play games generally because I like to, number one, I like to experience things. Not that like this is obviously not indicative of an experience of an, the experience of someone who's like has all of Chloe's traits in real life. This is just a game. But I like to be like I like to see things from like a somewhat different perspective at, at least as best I can. And also, like, girls are cute. In my opinion, girls are pretty cute. I don't know if I'm gonna get canceled for saying that, but I think uh, I think it's a it's a bold statement. I know some people we're all thinking it, come on. And I'm not as big of a fan of like the like the male model in Stardew Valley. Or in most games, for that matter. And, it's like, if I'm going to be playing a game for, like, a very extended period of time, wouldn't I rather be looking at something that I, like, prefer to look at? Instead of, uh... Instead of something that is just kind of, like, whatever for me? Like, I, I like how Chloe looks. Also, the, the real backstory on Chloe is that, uh... She was chosen for the, for the purpose of the no level challenge by the Stardew Valley gods themselves, by Yoba himself. I literally just click, clicked like the random character button, and uh, and this is like what came up. So but now she's she, now she's just a, par a part of history, and I wouldn't have it any other way, quite frankly. She's got a nice character design. I agree. I, I'm very surprised that like the whole that the that the random uh, generator managed to produce something like this like aesthetically pleasing. Like I think Chloe's got like a really like nice. It's nothing too fancy, just nice and simple. But it's uh, iconic at this point. You play as a female with bright blue hair. Don't judge. No judgments here at all. I think I've played as a female with bright blue hair in one of my Dark Souls playthroughs actually. So there you go. Yeah, girls are very cute. I think we can all agree on that fact for the most part. Even if even if you're not like attracted to girls like in a like in a sexual manner or whatever. You don't have to be in order to appreciate their beauty. You play as an alien with green skin. Fair enough. It takes. It, I mean, I'm I'm open to the diversity of all those options. I just love playing as like something that's not just like me in most games. And I get that's kind of like weird for a lot of people. Like a lot of people like to insert themselves into the experience of the game to an extent. And I get that. Oh, I forgot to water the fairy rose over there. Definitely gotta take care of that. Don't want to be without a fairy rose at, by the end of the season. Uh, yeah, I get that to an extent, just wanting to like insert yourself into the game. But that's just not my style. Argon, please don't get don't get cancelled. I'm, tr I'm trying my best. <laughs> I don't think I've said anything that's cancelable, I hope. If I did, I'm very sorry, but... 
Uh, what are we getting? We're getting diamond for Krobus. Sandy's birthday, and we're giving Krobus a gift. How, how do you like that? You play as a cactus? GG, can you bear some fruit for me today? What the heck? Oh, she's going to visit Sandy on her birthday, isn't that? Oh, no. If you didn't have to work, she suggests we have a nice picnic. Take me with you. Take me with you. Do you think, okay, can I like, just like, maybe I can hit your ride. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I think she, Pam might not see us. We could just like sneak into the luggage compartment. Excuse me? Like, I want on the bus, please. All right, fine. Hold shift to walk. <laughs> That's why it didn't work. Damn it. Better luck next time. Sandy isn't in her shop after about 1 p.m. on her birthday. Is that true? I didn't actually know that. I didn't know Sandy had a unique schedule on her birthday like that. Oh, I was supposed to start with, uh, with that garbage can today, like Chaos Stripe said. Sorry, Chaos Stripe. I remembered a little bit too late. <laughs> We would have gotten the cactus fruit, too, if it weren't for my meddling forgetfulness. There you go, buddy. That's got to be so close to Krobus' ten hearts, nine hearts still, but we're on the way. I don't even know why I'm growing pumpkins at this point. Howdy do, Harvey. Like to stay in Stardew Valley for a while. I finally started to feel involved in the community. Is it because I talk to you sometimes? I think that's probably it, huh? I feel like I have been talking to Harvey a lot more in this uh, fall. I guess we're just having to run into him at the right times. Ooh, spicy eel. Kind of a rare get, but not what we're looking for still. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way, Evelyn. Yikes! That was a bit of a traffic jam there at the Molnar household. They chill together outside, Emily and Sandy. That sounds so cute. Pam is like your bestie. She could turn a blind eye. She is the first one we got to ten hearts with in this challenge, which was kind of weird, but like whatever. This Joja Cola. Oh my gosh, the flagship product of the Joja Corporation. It must really be cactus root flavored. That's the only possible explanation for this. Have I ever made a character in a game that looks like Waluigi? <laughs> no, but I have played as Waluigi sometimes in Mario Party. He's not my go-to choice. Who do you guys main in Mario Party? If you've ever if you've ever played it, I'm a uh, I like to play like the like, like the weirdo characters sometimes. Waluigi is like pretty weird, but he's not weird enough for me. I like like the dry bones and the uh, isn't there the one where you can play as like uh, well you can play as like Boo in some of them I think. I like those guys. Weirdly enough, I think the character I played the most as in, like, the, the recent, most recent Mario Party game. Uh, because I wanted to change a pace, and I'm like, who do I not, like, play as that often? And I've been, pl I've, I've, I don't play, like, a ton of Mario Party, but I have in the past, and whenever I do so far, in Mario Party, like, Superstars, whatever it's called, I've been playing Mario. Any Mario mains in chat? <laughs> I feel like it's, like, gotta be, like, one of the lowest pick choices, because no one wants to play as Mario in Mario Party, and it's kind of why I went there. Either way, what am I uh, doing today? I guess it is... Oh, I didn't want to check that. Well, I haven't done any forging today either, so it's not like I would have gotten to level 10 forging. But maybe from an apricot. Playing Mario in Mario Party? Yeah, who would have thunk it, right? Dry Bones, DK. Good choices, good choices. DK is always a weird one to me because he's like, in some of the games, he's like, uh, like you can land on like a DK space, a Donkey Kong space. 
and then other games you can like play as him. It's like all over the place. Is there any? Is there's no Mario Party game where you can play as Bowser, right? He's always like part of the part of the board instead. Um, I guess we do some more uh, some more wood chopping. Choppity chop chop chop. You don't get an experience for any forging experience for harvesting the syrups, do you? I don't think you do. Thank you, Decay, for catching that nice and quick. Appreciate you. Oh, you got the add command as well. I totally forgot about that, too. <laughs> Technically, you can play as Bowser on Wii U. Is that the one where you got, like, mini stars and stuff? Like, you go around in, like, a car and you get, like, all those mini stars? That was the worst. <laughs> like, I don't, like, dislike games actively all that often. But I played that, like, one time and I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> this, is, this is not fun. <laughs> if that's the one I'm thinking of, anyway. Bot is very persistent. I'll have to. What is that one? Webcams dot chat dash chat. I can. I think I. I think I can add that to like my uh, my blacklist for Nightbot and stuff. That should help out. Yes, and it was terrible. It was. It was so bad. Why would? Why they? Like the Mario Party formula just works. You don't have to mix it up. Like I know Nintendo's like all about innovation in like weird and unique ways and sometimes it works out pretty well for them but like sometimes you just like don't mess with the golden formula like there's there's times there's situations where it's called for where like the old formula starts to get stale i think pokemon is a pretty good example of that and i think like innovating on that is like a good idea i don't know if the innovation directions they've taken it every time have been good also, that's not, like, necessarily Nintendo. That's, like, Game Freak and stuff, but I digress. Permabanit. That's the thing. Like, every time we, every time one of those bots does come in chat, we, we, we hide them from the channel, so they are banned. But there's dozens of them. There's, like, so many. <laughs> They can't all be stopped. They can't all be all be on the ban list. Which is why I kind of try, I try to set up like automated filters to to prevent them, but even then some of them like they just change up their username a little bit and then Nightbot is like looking and can't see the forest for the trees honestly. No trash fruit yet. Nope. I do like that nickname for it though, trash fruit. Speaking of Game Freak, have you heard about Gen 9? I did, yeah. We were talking about that a little bit earlier in the in the stream. It's looking kind of interesting. I am excited to see how that all pans out, but like uh, like we were mentioning before, it feels like it's a little a little soon. Like they might be like biting off more than they can chew just a tad bit too soon after their most recent releases. Don't get me wrong, Pokemon's Legend Ar Pokemon Legends Arceus is a pretty good game. Still need to play more of that. But, but I feel like they can they need to refine their their skills, hone their tactics a little bit more before they I mean I guess they, they probably just need like I feel like they need more time and more like critical more more of a chance to embrace the critical reception before they uh, fully commit. But you know what? More power to them, I guess. <laughs> We'll see how it pans out. Ooh, a little common mushroom down here. Don't mind if I do. Argon in the Lorax movie. The Lorax is another one of those movies I haven't seen, like, ever. But, like, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's like one of those ones that has like a huge cult following. I think it's just the Onceler that he was like a character in that movie. He has like a big cult following, right? Who made? Oh, I watched the video essay about thing about the Onceler fandom. Was that Sarah J? Is that what her channel name is? I don't remember. She makes some pretty good video essays too. I've only seen like a few of them. This is too much wood for any person. Let's like, okay, it's too much sap as well. Might need to start uh, drinking some of that, dare I say, but. Okay, let's make these summer seeds into tea saplings and just like sell them. Tea saplings, I need wood. Okay, that's good. I got, I think I got a little bit of that in here somewhere. Let's make all that. Let's do a little bit of chest cleanup here, chest management. All right, um, we don't need all these, like, daffodils and stuff. I'm sorry, Haley, but we'll get you, we'll get her, like, fruit salad at some point. It won't be a big deal. She prefers that anyway, so. The arrow of daffodils is long, pa long since passed. I'll trade you wood for eggs. I would definitely take that trade in a heartbeat if it was, uh, something I could do. Did I water that flower? It doesn't look watered to me, but. And let's just, like. Like, there's no reason to hold on to all this nonsense. Tumblr pretty boy for a while, the once there, yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I remember, that's what kind of what I garnered from that uh, video that I saw. Not gonna lie, like, I haven't seen the Lorax, like I said, but I've, I have... Watch that and listen to the the one song, How Bad Can I Be? Kind of a bop. I cannot lie. I'm easily pleased, but it's still still a bop for sure. Yo, Haley wants some ice cream. Mm. Best ice cream flavors in chat. I'm a fan of mint chocolate myself. That's a good choice. But I don't know if there's too many like bad choices for ice cream flavors. I mean... Unless you go with something like crazy off the wall and like say like I like uh I like pickle and arsenic flavored ice cream, then I might think you're memeing a little bit. But okay, we need to figure out something to plant in this garden pot as well. I totally forgot about that. What should we plant there? Just to to have growing. Um I need more, oh geez, I need more jazz, don't I? I need more blue jazz, because I need to make a lucky lunch at some point. Okay, let's do that. That'll work. I didn't even realize. I thought, do I not, or do I have a blue jazz in there and I just didn't like see? Do I maybe have it in the ch in the fridge here? I got the poppy there. I need at least one, I'm pretty sure, to make the, the lucky lunch, right? Okay. Well, we still have the jazz seed, so that's fine. Cold egg ice cream? I don't know about that. <laughs> coconut ice cream? I don't think I've ever tried coconut ice cream, to be honest with you. Hello, Pyrus. Dude, someone got did a whole essay on how Big Ring got cut in favor of how bad can I be, and it's fascinating, really. I'll have to check that out. I'm always a fan of a good video essay. By the way, 69 Infiltrator, thank you for the $5 super, super chat. We don't talk about the Onceler's occult, cult following. That history needs to stay buried. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to bring up old skeletons. Good to know. Actually, I'll keep this on me. He keeps the MF thing on him. Don't, don't ask what MF stands for. Uh, Stardew Valley Fair tomorrow. Let's do it too. Are we going to have as much of a fair fiasco as we did last time? It's hard to say. But we only have like 20 or so minutes left in the stream, so it can't go that crazy, right? Surely not. Let's do it. Mint chocolate chip is one flavor that your whole family can agree on. There's something just very refreshing and nice about it. Like, I'm not usually, like, a huge chocolate fan. Like, things, like, I like I like, like a little bit of chocolate, and I think that's what the mint chocolate does so well, is that it's, um, 
is that it's just like there to complement the mint a little bit and kind of take a little bit of the edge off of the mint. Because like too much mint or too much chocolate are both very overwhelming in their own ways. But when you blend them just right, mmm. Chef's kiss, pièce de résistance. Other such French terms. Not that chef's kiss is a French term now that I'm thinking about it. But I mean, come on. Most most chefs are from Fran France. Most of the best world-class chefs are from France. And if they aren't, they wish they were. They're like, man. Look, would have been I would have been such a more well-respected cook if I was from France. Then I could say things like Boeuf Bourguignon and sound like I know what I'm talking about. Make some fresh ratatouille. You know how it goes. A little fish taco. Alright, let's get our oak resin here. So we need to remember to bring our chubs for the range display here. Counter, Gordon Ramsay. Touche. But I bet, I bet if you press Gordon... We're on a first name basis, him and I. Uh, we we talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I, I bet if you press Gordon, he'd be like, "Yeah, I kind of wish I was from France." I think I think he could uh, be persuaded to think that way. There's an argument to be made. Omelette du fromage. Exactly. That's that's what I'm talking about. You can't make a true omelette du fromage unless you're from France. Or from potentially like French Canada as well. But French Canada is not as like culinarily inclined, I don't think. People who think French chefs are the best have clearly never tried a proper Aussie pub meal. I need to expand my like culinary tastes like in many different ways. Like, I'd like to try like. Like you say, like, Australian food is, like, something I've never even really considered, to be honest with you. But it, I would like to experience it someday. Definitely need to experience more Asian cuisine as well. More European cuisine, too, to be honest. Like, I, I'm not very... I Like I say, like, I'll try any kind of food thing once. But I've never uh, had the opportunity to try too many different ones. That's where my folly is. Oh my goodness, Gray, thank you for the uh, 999 super chat. <laughs> super appreciate the support. Like sorbet, lactose, and tolerance. Like sorbet, lactose, and tolerance. <laughs> oh, lact, I get you. I get where you're coming from. <laughs> Lime sorbet, lactose, and tolerance. I see. I, 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 thank you for the 199 super chat to correct your 999 super chat. That's pretty funny. Thank you very much, Gray. That's uh, that's awesome. All right, this is all. Ooh, we got some harvestables down here. Little extra foraging experience. Can we make some of these right away into wild seeds? Yeah. Go ahead and start planting some of these. Can I do it again? Watch me do it again. Ooh, we'd love to see it. I need to be careful here. I need to make it to the Stardew Valley Fair in time. All right, uh, can I make any more? Ten more, okay. Let's just use some of these weird... This is the weirdest farming layout you're, you've ever seen. Don't worry about it, though. It's going to get the job done one way or another. I just don't want to hoe anything if I don't have to, please. Oh, you're going to make me hoe. Dang it. All right, well, fair enough. Four spots is not so bad. Does mean I have to water these manually though, because the sprinklers aren't doing their thing. There we go. Rainbow sorbet. I haven't had a good sorbet in a long time. I need to I need to go about that at some point. Remedy that situation. Okay, so. Let's do order of business here. Let's get our recycling machines cleared out. Let's grab our chubs. Nine iridium quality chubs. I am very curious to see if this is actually going to work. I also, this is bugging me, so get out of here. You sussy grass. 
It physically hurts seeing this layout. Don't worry about it. We just see it's it's all off to the side of the farm, so we don't even have to think about it. And when I do go down there, you can just like look away. Most people are probably just listening to the stream anyway, not actually watching it. Seven's can you type a seven in chat for me if you're a lurker, what listening to the stream instead of watching it? I guess you can lurk and watch it at the same time. You don't have to necessarily be listening. But I feel like most most lurkers are uh, auditory exclusive. In my experience. Thank you for the lurking. Emmy, Sophia, Aruzbi, 69 Infiltrator, Donut Eater, Rose, Keese, Wheat Woos, Indigo Dragon, Ah Man, B, Blizzard Blizzard, Lizard Blizzard with the, coming with the 07. <laughs> Austin, Natwolf. Appreciate it, L. You want a second monitor? I got a second monitor specifically for uh for, for making my stream setup work. Yo, Zombo. Tune in for the last little bit of the stream. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Alright, let's get this fair under control. Let's see. We don't have anything to like buy, so we don't really need the star tokens for anything. But um you know we're going to do it. You know we got to do it to him. Let's have a look here. What does she have? Because, like, she has, like, a bit of a rotating stock here, right? Trade your star tokens for prizes. We could get another fedora. We could get another rare crow. Not that we need them. Pepper poppers. That's kind of lame. But you know what? It's fine. It's about th the thrill of it. It's the big day. Don't you worry, I got something just, I got something beautiful. You see all these crops, this wide array of crops? Pathetic. You're a loser, Pierre. You don't, no. See, this is, this is, this is offensive to the senses. Too many colors, too many contrasting smells. It doesn't work. Marnie, you're in a similar boat. Why a single big wheel of cheese? Also, can I yeet these eggs real quick? Just if no one's looking. Like hers is a little, a little more fluid than uh, than Pierre's. I gotta give her some respect. I think she would probably have Pierre beat. Willie, he had the right idea. He had the right idea. He was had this fish going. He's even got a single chub in there. You see that? He's a. Uh, he's got it. He's he was so on the mark. He was so close, but then he starts filling his empty spots that he doesn't have with fish. With like, what the hell is this? Is that like? strawberry pudding is that like a jello mold that you bring to your neighborhood potluck i don't think so willie i don't think so you know what you do you fill this with nine chub it's beautiful look at the little iridium star pulsate that's the that's the most gorgeous thing i've ever it brings a tear to my eye look at this take a screenshot of this this could surpass the Mona Lisa as far as like one of the most beautiful pieces of art in history. This screenshot right here. Mayor Lewis, oh my gosh, he's gonna be so impressed. I can't wait. In fact, I'm not even gonna go like talk to everybody like I normally do at first. Let's just see, let's let's do it. I'm finished, I'm ready. I'm so proud. I'm gonna go stand right by my, my stand here, my little Grange display. Let's do this. Let's not get in the way of the judge. Let's be let's be courteous here. Also, why does Pierre get his own little like banner here? Maybe he brought it himself, made it made it at home, out of out of orange card like construction paper from the dollar store. Pathetic, Pierre. You're trying too hard. Get out of his way again. We don't want to offend the judge. All hail the Chub Gods. Thank you, Blinding Shot. Let's see if the Chub Gods are on our side this day. You got first place with a rating of 91. Why is that work? That's so silly. Oh my gosh. I told you it's the best possible display that mankind has ever seen. Don't forget to clean up your Grange display. I won't. These boys are coming home. We're going to we're going to make an aquarium just for them at some point. That's so funny. <laughs> Why does that work? <laughs> Oh my god. Your best score is 104. We, we were surprisingly not far off the mark for nine of the same exact item. Oh my god. 
How are you doing, Simon? No, you're no, not you, Abigail. We're talking to Simon. See, Simon loves it, don't you, Simon? That's the face of a child who loves the day that they're having. At least he's got like a lollipop or something there. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. We need to we need some redemption on this on this Wheel of Chance. We'll get we'll get to that in a second. He told you something interesting, Giggle. Unfortunately, we'll never get to experience that because the the fortune teller is a charlatan, capitalist jerk who uh, hates fun. I'm waiting for this clown to start doing something funny. He's 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 making that water balloon work, you know. That's it takes some skill. I like to think that's a water balloon and not just like a plastic ball from a ball pit. You know what, Clint? I think if you had set up a Grange display with this, we might have had our work cut out for us. Just saying, that, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, Wellwick! Wellwick, the Oracle, I watch you on TV all the time! My name's Chloe, can I get a free reading, please? please a free free one, though? I swear, I, I tune into your show every day. I, I... Alright. You say so. Oh man, money makes the world go round at the end of the day. How are you guys doing over here, the little petting zoo? This is so cute. I love the I love the fair. Moo, he says moo. A hen picked your finger. You didn't learn from last year, did you, Jas? It's actually a baby slime. The thing that the clown is holding that would be even more impressive, to be honest with you. What does this lady say? That's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. Did you not see the sheer girth of my chubs? Don't take that one out of context. <laughs> um, I don't know why you had to use the word girth there, but it's out in the internet now. Digital footprint and all. All right, let's get a quick survival burger for the road. They make a good point on the Stardew Valley wiki. They, I, I read, there's like some part where they like talk about the fair, and they say like Evelyn asks for ve vegetarian options at the menu, but Gus is cooking survival burgers, and technically survival burgers have no meat ingredients. You make them from eggplant, and like you know what Stardew wiki, you got her. Evelyn is so wrong, as she is about so many things in life. Anyway, <laughs> we got a thousand star tokens. Let's let it ride. All right. So we're betting. Everyone tells this is this is our redemption arc, okay? Green was not our savior for a very long time at the last fair. I'm gonna trust Chad again. They tell me the wheel is rigged to land 75% on green. We're betting 500 on green. Don't disappoint me. Come on. They, w they wouldn't do it to us again, would they? Okay, okay, you know what? Off to a good start. Off to a very good start. Uh, so now we bet 750. We just keep going half seas, right? You won every you won every time when you picked green. You did when you did this yesterday. I'm starting to believe. He's beginning to believe. I don't know how much we need to buy to buy out the star token shop. We're just gonna keep going though. Uh, what do I need? Eleven twenty-five, something like that. Didn't work for Ring Queen. Oh no. Hey, you know what? This might be the actual redemption arc that we didn't know we needed. All right, we can't really do half of thirty-three seventy-five. Um, so we'll do. Next best thing, let's just do like, let's just do like, we'll do 2,000. I'm feeling confident. Do orange the next round. I don't want to put that evil on you, Zomba, man. Maybe I should have, though. Maybe I should have. It's fine. One orange, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. Water under the bridge, buddy. Water under the bridge. 750. 
Hit me. YOLO it? Just do it all? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We still have a lot more green than orange. We have a lot more green than orange, I believe, in the in the heart of the cards. This is going to be 350. Come on. Okay, um, <laughs> that was, you know what, that was, I, I want to judge. Can I get a judge in here for that one, please? Bruh, that was on the line. All right, um, we're doing green again. Uh, we're going to do 150. We can make it all back, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm going to become a gambling streamer, and we're going to, we're going to make, we're going to win the house. You see, we're already on our way. We're on the rise. This is how it goes. Zombo, you have you're getting a gog complex. I need you to calm down. I need you to calm down, please. Come on. Come on. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. It's it's that's no. Okay, it is green. Fine. You know what? I mean, it's orange. All right. He's saying that we're they're saying the people are saying orange. The people are saying orange. And by people, I mean my one mod. All right, this is this one. We're going in, all in, all in on orange. We got this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. There's something to that. There's something to it. Let's go. We'll go 175. We'll just go half this time. We won't make it as big of a, a comeuppance. I'm addicted, man. <laughs> this is gonna be we're gonna be here like so late. Oh, okay, that's that's green. That's not that's not what you want to see. Alright, um Let's do Okay, 175 on green. I think we get we gotta go for big swings. We gotta go for big swings. It's do or die. I foresee the strength game in your future. Oh, do you now? Oh, do you? You you doubt my abilities. You doubt Chloe's precognitive abilities. Well, how do you feel about this? 350 on green. That was a slow spin. You didn't put any oomph into that, Mr. Top Hat. But it worked out, so I'm not going to begrudge you. All right. Now here's where he goes mad. Here's where here's where he becomes a madman. This is 700 on orange. Trust me, chat, chat. Trust me, okay? 700 on orange. Just watch it. Watch the magic happen. I'm gonna close my eyes. Um. Uh. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Okay. <laughs> well, it was it was worth a shot. We didn't really need anything for that. So we don't like we don't need to buy anything here, okay? We don't need the star tokens actually for anything. We've gotten everything we could ever want ever want out of this. Let's call it a day. How could you? The house always wins. So true. Leave this already fair. I think we can. I think uh, let's let's cut our ties with this place. We've done our piece. We got zero. We had the max last time we left. We have zero this time. It all evens out. <laughs> Worst streamer can't even predict the future. I'm working on it. Trust me. I sleep with a with a fresh human eyeball under my pillow every night in order to facilitate my. Uh, my psychic abilities, open my third eye, as it were. Don't ask me where I get them. It's on a need-to-know basis, basis, and frankly, you don't need to know. Oh, garbage run, garbage run. Trash can run. All right, this is this is important. Let's do this, okay. We are going. <laughs> the full trash wardrobe. Hello, Leap-a-Lot. 
I saw you in there briefly. We need the trash wardrobe luck for our uh, for our cactus fruit grind here. We need a single cactus fruit from these trash cans. Not Joja Cole, not cactus fruit flavor Joja Cole. We've been over this game. Okay, come on. <laughs> Let's see. Leap a lot. I think this is your first time in the stream. Do you have the cactus fruit touch? You might if if we get it today. I'm pinning it on you. I don't mean to put the pressure on you, but you know what? We're probably not going to get it, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, this is whatever. Come on, do it. Do it, you coward. I told you, it's going to be from Joja. The cactus fruit is from Joja. And no. Okay, we're good. No luck today, but that's fine. If we ever do miss the garbage cans, like I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's going to be on one of these festival days. It's so easy to forget about it at the end of the day. I digress. Have we checked the uh, the fruit bat cave today? Might have an apricot waiting for us, potentially. Whoa! It's real! They exist! <laughs> Well, you know what? If we couldn't end the stream on a cactus fruit, we could at least get our very first apricot. That is beautiful. That is... Well, there you go. <laughs> we need multiples of these, though. Here's the thing. We need to be able to ship an apricot, and we also need to be able to uh, make it into fruit salad for our cooking requirement. So we're not done with the apricot yet, yet, but at least the fruit bats have shown us some mercy this day. You love to see it. You can't seat maker an apricot. No, you need to get to, you need to potentially get lucky in the in the skull cavern treasure rooms if you want an apricot sapling. But thankfully, you don't need to worry about that grind. Yo, Zombo, it's fine. It's uh, <laughs> There's multiple pronunciations. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Elaine, for the $20 super chat at the very end of the stream here. Finally, the elusive apricot. You, you were holding on to that one. Thank you so much for the support. Very, very appreciated. All right. Let's go ahead and call it a night. I know we could do some Prairie King, but I'm getting a little tired, and I think uh, I think it's probably better for me to call it a stream here. We'll save we'll save Prairie King for more. Uh, we'll, we'll keep we'll maybe not do it every stream as we have in the past. Maybe we'll just do it a little more exclusively when we feel up to the task, you know. I digress. Thank you all for joining me for this Leg of the Price of Perfection. We didn't make, like, a ton of progress today. We did hit level 10 mining, so that's, uh... That's a big one. There we go. Level 10 mining was pretty nice. I was glad to have you all here for the ride. We are actually starting to make, like, a ton of money. Like, next, next stream, we're going to surpass our 500,000 gold mark, undoubtedly. Uh, in case you missed the community post, by the way, there was a post in on my community uh, section of my YouTube channel, as well as in my Discord. The next few streams for the next couple weeks while I'm off of work will be happening earlier in the day than normal. So it'll be the same days. It'll be Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. But we're going to be going from... Um, it's going to be... Number one, it's going to be earlier in the day. It's going to be 12 p.m. That, that we start, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's going to go till 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so it'll be an hour longer than normal in order to sort of, you know, just change things up a little bit. I'm sorry if that does mess with the uh, people who are, like, regular viewers who, who might not be able to make those times regularly. But I want to give uh, people who are in, like, Eastern time zones and European time zones a bit more of a chance in order to make it. And also, it's just, like, a little bit, having them be a little bit longer will hopefully help compensate for that. Maybe, like, some of the stream regulars will be able to catch, like, the later parts of the stream if it doesn't work, so. 
during work hours. <laughs> you won't be able to watch live? Sorry to hear that. <laughs> They'll make it or else. Oh no. I don't. Th that's very ominous. Uh, very ominous note to end on from Leap a Lot. But I'll uh, let it hang there. So I will see uh, all of you, or many of you, hopefully anyway. Next stream on Tuesday. Tuesday at uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to send you off with a little fan art reel, as we always do. Let me get things set up here. Appreciate y'all coming out. Love you all. This is Argon Matrix, signing on out. Thank you, and good night.